Welcome back, everyone. We're 15 minutes away from kickoff, and Molyneux Arsenal can go top of the league, at least for the time being, if they beat Wolves. At least they'll be asking a question of Man City. In fact, we play our two Premier League games before City kick a ball in the Premier League. That is Chelsea, funny enough, are on our screens, just been knocked out of the FA Cup in the semi finals at Wembley, and actually probably put a good account of themselves, to be fair, um, or made a good account of themselves, should I say. Uh, but City finding a way at the end through Bernardo <coughs> Silva, and they will play in another. Cup final, and they'll be back at Wembley. Um, we discussed earlier kind of whether this impacts Arsenal or not. General feelings, probably not. I actually think it's good that not everything's on the Premier League for them right now. But hey ho, let's focus on Arsenal because none of it matters if we don't do our job. Back here with Lucy, mm -hmm. of course, Laurie, and of course, Turkish. Um, 15 minutes to kick off. Yes. But I want to go in a slightly more negative direction for a sec. Ooh. Tommy Asu, out with a knock, not available again. You're joking. Is that right? I didn't realise it. I, I didn't really quite that. clock it when we were reading the 11s. But yeah, he's... I yeah. think because the left back is all like Kivio, Zinchenko, Tomiassi, we don't really mind this which... This summer, it needs to just be a rehab Jeez. summer for him. You know, because we've, really? we've, we've given him a new... Yeah, we just need to get him, get him right, mm -hmm. get him ready. You know, it's been two stop start. He's had a contract in between. Has that been confirmed fully? Yeah, he's signed it, yeah. Yeah, so, that, you know, and we all know that there's a player there. And it's a player we all want to see. More, more mm -hmm. often than not, we're saying starting lineup nowadays. <coughs> but again, with Partey and Jesus, this, you know, injuries, similar kind of things, we're saying we can't rely upon them. Tomiyasu has that side to it where it's positive in terms of we still have hope, he's mm -hmm. still young enough. It's more, it's not a big knee injury, it's more, I don't know what small niggling injuries than it is anything. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, it's a worry, but. It is what it is at the end of the day. We just have to hope that this summer he can have the... There's no, there's no Asia Cups or anything like that, is there, anymore, so... No, no, you should get should a summer right. free. You should get a summer of rest. But Lucy, like... You, you can't... You, I think Tommy Asu has the quality and the attributes mm -hmm. to start for Arsenal. 38 games a season. I think he's good no, enough. Sure. I think he can be a starter at our club. Um, but th that's just... Doesn't matter. I does think it? especially when you compare it to the his competitors, if you want to put it like that, the other left backs. We have Zinchenko who his form recently hasn't been amazing. I feel like his defence we all know is his biggest weakness. Yeah. Um in games like this, I think it's fine to play players like that because supposedly we have more of the ball. Um yeah, and know. obviously that's where his forte is. But then even with Kivio, I just feel like there's gotta be too much covering from the centre backs for him, whereas Tommy Asu, yeah. He, he more reliable should defensively. Should be starting. Yeah, I, for I, sure. I just, you can't, I just, I don't know. Look, I feel for him, but Tommy Asu, Partey, Jesus, and there's more. I think Zinchenko's in that group as well. If they're only available for half the season, at best, and it mm -hmm. is at best. I mean, Tommy Asu, I'll actually try to look it up now, how, how much he's been injured this season. It, it, that's why you need Duran Timber. That's why Kivio's yeah. played a lot of football. That's why Zinni, everyone will go, Get you know get Zinchenko out of the club. Okay, but Zinchenko <coughs> offers something offensively the others don't, and he's playing more games because the others haven't proven their fitness and haven't been available. So, you know, what can we do? No, good point, and it goes back to what we were saying before. We spoke about the uh, the T word tiredness, but um, that's closely related to injuries as well. At this end of the season, and also not the only ones. Look at Wolves today; they've got up to ten players out. Don't they? Yeah, um, you go right through the the league, Premier League, and there's um, vast amount of teams suffering serious injury problems so it is what it is um keep your coming in i mean listen defensively he's he's good mm -hmm. or he's decent um going forward with the ball not his strongest asset i personally would have preferred to play zinchenko today yeah fair enough. but fair enough. you know to keep yours the man in possession so i think what you mentioned obviously about him not being able to go forward with the ball as much i think that's good maybe if we've got rice there like trying to see positive of that lineup if we've got Rice someone who will carry the ball up and mm -hmm. he's now got to be in that number six because obviously Havertz is in there maybe that mm -hmm. could be where Arteta's thoughts are with okay yeah we'll just go a bit more defensive but in a game like this you I don't know I don't really think you should be going too defensive I think we should he's be going, looking for goal difference he's more. trying to get that platform of four defenders that were doing really well together yeah. back in the team I feel like he's more trying to revert to what had been working but just looking up here Tommy has his injury record 11 games missed for Arsenal in Japan in the 21-22 season, 60 days out with a calf injury, then had knee surgery uh, last season, which saw him miss 16 games for Arsenal and Japan. Um, 
this season, two calf injuries, six games and seven games each. So, you know, it's significant amounts of time so he's missing. And it was knee surgery as well. So, yeah, that's, yeah that, that, last that season good. he had knee surgery. Yeah. yeah, that ain't good. Do you remember when he went... Um, that's why even with Timba, I hope for the best because, mm -hmm. yeah, them we need them, that, Yeah, knees are not to be played with. Let me ask you, Turkish, about um, the 11 he's gone with. Look, we all know none of us love the Havertz in midfield thing. Okay, but it's happened. How do we get the best out of the use of that position? Because I do think, to be fair, I thought Kai Havertz's first half against Villa was... I keep dumbing it down, but I remember at the time I was genuinely impressed. Obviously, with the way it ended, I was like, oh. But his first half, I was happy. I felt he looked our best attacking outlet. Um, we won 6-0 at West Ham and 5-0 at Burnley with Havertz in midfield. But the difference was, Trossard was up front, so they kept just alternating roles. So would you be looking for Jesus on the left in this game to try and get that together? Or would you put Jesus on the left, Trossard in midfield, just stick Havertz up front? I mean, what, what would you do with those players? It's a hard one, isn't it? Mm. You're probably asking the wrong guy because... Yeah, I know. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably stick him up top because... You know the other two are, are, are at least have qualities to to suit other positions, whereas at least if your guy up top can only do a few things, you, you can get away with that. Um, so I'd probably stick him up top. But yeah. if you you ask me if he should be playing, it's another story. Yeah, fair enough, Laurie. Basically, I'm asking Trossard on the left or up front. How would you how would you line them up? I'm not convinced about Trossard up front. I know you. Um yeah. I've highlighted, and I do agree with you on that regard, that he's probably the best finisher in the club. But obviously, finishing is not the single facet of a striker. He doesn't, to me, he doesn't do enough to occupy the defenders up top. But I would, I would have, um, I wouldn't have minded him starting. Uh, I do think Havertz is extremely lucky to be starting today. It seems that even when he doesn't play up front, the manager finds a place for him in midfield, which is. I don't get that, to be honest, but um, yeah. Listen, all these yeah. guys are, are, are good players. We should have enough to beat Wolves today. And that's no disrespect to Wolves, but we should do. I mean, Wolves, um, they're a decent side, but let's be honest, man, they've not been in the best of form. I think they're no wins in their last five games. Uh, they're a mid-table side. They're unlikely to qualify for Europe. We need it much more than them. If we can't be beating Wolves today, then there's something seriously wrong, so. Mm -hmm. um, I've got faith in whatever 11 the manager picks should be enough to get the job today, but I personally would have made more than just three changes. Got injuries though, Wolves. Yeah. So, you know, they, they've got injuries which will, mm. you know, which will suggest that, you know, Arsenal should be even more confident than they perhaps would have been anyway. But at Molyneux, beat Man City, beat Tottenham, beat Chelsea. Man United worked really hard for a win there. Mm. Um, so, you know, Molyneux, they can be a problem. And Gary O'Neill's team's... They're very high energy. Like they're very like. Yeah, he's a good I manager. I don't know. He's a yeah, good they're very kind of aggressive. They do take the game to you. I'm not really expecting Arsenal to um, to, listen, to, man, to breeze um, this. Despite all of that, they lost to Coventry at home. <laughs> we we should be beating them, given where we are and what this game means to us. If we can't win today, then I would argue we don't deserve to be in the title shaker. We have to beat Wolves. As simple as that. Losing is not an option. Even drawing is not an option. You have to win. Fair enough. Um, talking of, let's get Man City's run up, actually. Because um, I know it's maybe a little bit premature to have a little look at it. But, you know, we need to sort of see where we hope they'll slip up because we need to win these games in the hope that something goes wrong for them at some point. So, here are the games they've got coming. Brighton away. Forest away. Wolves at home. Fulham away. Tottenham away. West Ham at home. So, four... <laughs> four, of, four of their final six are away and they come in the next five. Mm -hmm. are, which games there are you guys looking at and going, that's where I genuinely think the slip could come? There's not one game in particular. Yeah. I'm just hoping that which it comes somewhere. That one of them is... <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're sort of... I'm banking you're on aggregating them all together and go, surely somewhere there's somewhere a draw. Somewhere someone has to do something. They've got a better run than us, though. Like, of course I think they that's, do. Yeah, I think that's what everyone's saying. I think maybe Spurs could be an option because Spurs have a position to fight for as well. That's so true, So it could be yeah. a potential. And I feel like Spurs show up at weird games, so like they could pull something out of the bag then, but... What about Forrest? Defending deep, counter-attacking uh, with Hudson-Odoi and Alanga, Chris Wood off a set-piece. No? 
Is that the one you're looking at? No, I'm, I, look, I'm looking at Tottenham really, but I don't. I don't know what you're going to get from Tottenham. I really don't know what you're going to get from Tottenham in that game. Same with Brighton, though. You don't know what kind of Brighton you get. That's the time. thing. I don't know. Mm. Brighton will be brilliant. Like Brighton can create the chances that Chelsea just created against City. They can, but yeah. Are they going to keep them out? I don't know. I think a few of them are too hit and miss. And like even with Wolves, we're going to have to see what they do with us today, and then Fulham. See how they. Fulham, could they? Fulham have pulled up big results <coughs> this season. The thing with Fulham is they're quite a sensible team. Like I, what I mean by that is they're just they're kind of no nonsense. I don't know. Yeah, we'll go for a big man up front. He'll score a load of goals. We've got enough quality in the wingers. They'll chip in a bit. <laughs> Palina just win the ball back. Yeah. <laughs> like you know, fullbacks gap. But I don't know. Yeah. There's, I, you know. The, I just feel like they might have a balance that you know can. It depends if City become down. complacent, but we've seen them not do that in the past, so it is quite quite a tricky one. And then if you compare that to our run as well, it is. So, guys, how are we feeling about this game right now? We see the players in the time about to come out. Are we are we nervous? Are we just, you know, are we are we beyond that point of nerves where it's like, look, almost the the, the bad news has happened. We're out the Champions League. We've had the bad result against Villa that took it out of our hands. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like. We're, we're the chasers now, so just go out and do what you can. I don't know. I, I, I don't feel that like tension I yeah. going into Villa. I don't know why, and I should. This is like, this is incredible. Like we have to. I was gonna say we have to win this. I think I kind of think this with Arsenal most games, anyways. Um, especially when there's stuff on the line that just get a goal in the first 10, 15, and then we can kind of see where it's at. Whereas I feel like right now, obviously, it's just a bit up in the air. Um, Lee Slims the Super Chat says big up everyone just here to tell you that Matisse Meltdown and Super Chat Cooking was glorious did you catch any of it? No no, no. I, I look forward to looking at it later <laughs> Who was his IRA directed towards? Don't know actually I'm not sure uh, Thiago Silva was very upset I think over, uh, after the defeat um, anyway players out on the pitch getting ready for kickoff in three minutes time Landro Trossard I'm really interested to see where he plays it's either the same setup as last week with Trossard wide, Jesus up top. I have a feeling it could be Jesus out wide with Trossard up top so he can link up with Havert. Um, but let's see. Jose Sar starting in goal. Santiago, Bueno, Kilman, and Totti. I like Kilman, good player. Are the Wolves back three? Doherty and Bueno. The wing backs with Doyle, Gomez, and Traore. Apparently, we've been linked with Jao Gomez as well. Does look a good. Young player, about 21, 22 years old. Good defensive midfielder. We normally cover in that area. And they've got uh, Tawanda Chirewa and He Chan Huang up front as well. Huang. He's only just coming back, isn't he? I think so, Wang? yeah. Yeah, yeah. He did start on fire, didn't he? What was the feeling when you um, spoke to Dave on Box to Box? Are they confident going into this? Are they, I don't know, kind of where, where was... Because I know Wolves have tailed off in recent weeks. Not necessarily confident. But he, 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 you know, he didn't feel like it's going to be a mauling or um, he didn't feel like his Wolves don't have a chance. But at that time, I think Cunha was still, well, I thought Cunha was still an option. Um, and a lot of the injury stuff kind of leaked the last 48 hours or so. Yeah. And that even changed my opinion. Well, not changed my opinion. I expect to beat them. But now I really, you know, mm. I expect us to, to, to do it nicely. Yeah. You know, without... Hopefully, without much concern, like you said, try and get the the structure back, the the, the solidity, the stability at the back. Keep, try and get a clean sheet, get a couple goals at least. Just you know, mm-hmm. get yeah. back on track. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Saka, Jesus, and Trossard, the front three for Arsenal. Rice is playing at the six with Havertz dropped back into midfield, and Kivio uh, is in the team. No Tommy Esu on the bench, but quite a few other players. If Arteta chooses to call them, Tony Snooker fan asks, do you guys? think we can still win the league yes I do I don't think we will but I think we absolutely can it's mathematically can. possible so yeah do you think we can I think we can like as in with my, yeah, am, I, genuine, like, am I talking I don't my head we will, or heart but I here I genuine hope we will I'm, I'm genuinely like yeah come on we... with my heart I'm like yeah 100% but like head you've just got to think about City but just also on this with the we just saw the starting line up like the formation um, Trossard on the left, that means that Havertz will pretty much have to stay in the midfield, which isn't the sort of interchangeable yeah, but approach I never, we I wanted. Never trust so. these Sky Sports graphics. Because some people might say, what does it matter? But it does matter because when we've played with 
Trossard up top and Havertz in midfield, mm -hmm. the two have pressed together. It's been almost Trossard and Havertz up front. Remember the penalty we won at Burnley when the ball came into Havertz, he yeah. laid it off. Like We've almost played 4-4-2 when it's them. And Jesus out on the left is a little bit more stylistically like Martinelli. Mm -hmm. So that's the balance I would want for the 11 players that are out there. If it's not, if it is Trossard on the left, which as they're kicking off, it looks like it is Trossard on the left, then Havertz is likely going to play a little bit nearer Rice and it will be Erdegaard and Jesus pressing from the front. So, yeah, I, we'll see. I, I hope... I don't know. I hope Trossard isn't just hugging the touch on the whole game. Yeah. I hope he is able to move in field a little bit more. Uh, but let's go. We've kicked off. 17 seconds in. Arsenal want to throw in. And Havertz gets on the ball early on in midfield. Oh. We've got space. That's a nice ball. That's a lovely ball to Trossard. Kivior. Poor cross, oh. but he's found Havertz. A decent oh. effort. Actually, not a bad no, effort. Quite a bit as well. That was not a okay. bad effort. First shot. There we go. One minute back, in. people. Yeah, he wrapped his, his foot around it nice. Yeah, that was not a bad effort at all. You know, the good thing about that is that he took it on and had a shot. Mm -hmm. It shows positivity. So I like that. Yeah. We need a good start in this game. Yeah, 100% we do. Yeah, an, an early goal would be nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whenever you're not playing your best football, whoa, that's a foul, surely. That's a bad foul. That's a booking, you know, come on. Zach has been absolutely huh? swiped, hasn't he? I feel like every team just targets him. That's why, obviously, to me, that's he can't perform as well, because there's two on him. Look, look at this, cleans him out. But, oh, come on, ref. Yellow card. Didn't get it. Right. There you go. Look at that. We're building out the back and Havertz is nowhere near it. Now, I'm not blaming him. It's not his fault. But look at him. God, look, look, there is no one. There he is. That's our central midfielder. Nice. Oh, That's nice. nice. Oh, come on, Trossard, man. Back kill. Yeah, it's Odegaard, wasn't it? Odegaard, sorry. But, like, isn't that such a such a unique use of a footballer? It's just it's mm. a lot of interchanging, isn't it? That's what it is. So it's hard to really... We're building up and we want him nowhere near it. We just had a good view of half the pitch as we were building up out the back and he was nowhere near the ball. Playing in midfield, obviously, yes. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. yes. Kind of nuts, but you know. I really think it depends on the day whether Havertz's versatility is his strength or weakness because mm. it just sort of depends who's around him and everything as well. Nice. That's really good. He looked quite sharp, to be honest. He he is, he's beautiful. Some good passing. Yeah. They seem confident going into this. Yeah, they've had some nice touches, haven't they, early mm -hmm. on? A few players need big performances. Definitely. Especially the ones further up the pitch. Mm -hmm. Need some goals today. See how Kivior doesn't really invert, does he? He's That's not his game, way. really, is it? No. He's more old school defender. Mm -hmm. Combine him and Zinchenko, and you've got the, the balance. Go on, Saka. Now take him on. That's it. Right. That's a guard. Ah, poor. He uh, telegraphed that a bit too much. Well done. See, that guy there, the, the young African guy, it's his first game for Wolves. We've got a pressure in that. Yeah, Make him feel nervous. Hi, oh, everyone. Is there nerves, yeah? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Are you nervous? Not really. No, I'm right. The players don't look nervous, to be fair. They look, they look on it. Go on! Um, shit, no, but you know what? <laughs> Try the shot. Right? Might as well, yeah. I'd much rather see somebody You don't shoot, shoot you don't score? Cool. Yeah. So Empty the clip. So have you in the comments, man. You look like... People, you know people say we have agendas, yeah? All I've done is talked about Havertz, like, <laughs> moving no, but high up the pitch. No, but James, me and Turkish were talking about this before. Havertz has a cult following at the club. You're not allowed to say anything 
But also, like, in the slightest that people, people deem derogatory about. Also, him. people don't they, they don't know how to understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm not blame. I'm talking about the use of him. Like, I'm not saying he's choosing to stand up there and not get involved. Obviously, Arteta's told him. I just find it interesting. I haven't even slagged off. I said it was really. Listen, good I said before the game, he can consider himself extremely fortunate that he's starting today, and I know men are going to come for me. But listen, if you're going to come for me, come for me. And that's what I think. He's very lucky to be starting. I hope he does well. I hope he scores. I hope we win. But still, he's, you know, Le- to be starting this. in midfield today, he's fortunate. It's as simple as that. He's pressing now. So he's. So Erdogan and, and Havertz. Erdogan's pressing. Jesus has gone to the left, and it's Trossard who's in midfield. How did they end up in that shape? Was that just for foul? Give him the free What's kick to Arsenal. Awesome. Play on. Are you going to get up or what? I've never understood. claiming it. a head injury. Fibbers go down so easy, it's so annoying. Yeah, Hwang's not happy. <laughs> Are you not embarrassed? Anyway, I'll also get a free kick. Well, we've seen almost a season of it. Declan Rice, is he a number six or is he a number eight? He's got to be a number eight. I yeah. feel like that's yeah, number eight. I feel like that's where he flourishes. Like that's something different that you don't see. Like if you put him on number six, I feel like you're not fully using his potential. I mean, he's good at both. Like we can put him in either way, but I think he's actually been able to have more of an impact with the goals. I change my mind all the time. I really do. Well, um, that's the a measure of how good he is, then, right? Yeah, he can do both. Um, I think if you get another Erdogan like <coughs> midfielder in there, you, you put Rice as a oh, you get, you get those two to play together. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. The thing with Rice is he's, he's not a killer in the final third, is he? No. He hasn't really got the. Uh, he can make the runs into the box, yeah, but. He hasn't really got the technical ability to be efficient in the final third, whether passing or shooting. Mm. Yeah, he'll never be a Gundogan mm. in the final third as a box to box. A lot of high pressing. A lot of trying to. Oh, that was very calm from. I was going to say that was. Like, I was literally about to say calm, but that's why I think makes him better over Ramsdale because he is just so calm at the back. Yeah. Do you think Ramsdale goes this summer? Yeah. Where is the question? But Where is the question? Newcastle? Chelsea? Hopefully. I was going to say, I feel like Chelsea's got question marks. Then we'll get some money for him. Yeah. Oh, that's good football. Go on. See Run at him! Picked up the ball there. Run at him, man. Oh. Well done, Saka. Did well to keep that alive. Look at where Jesus is. Go wide. Out. Go wide. Oh, he's literally calling for it. So are you seen there when Jesus goes out to the then Havertz fills in in the middle. So I mm-hmm. guess that is part of the. He can go from the they just um, cover. midfield to that false nine in a, in an instant. I guess. Yeah. See that's see that's it. You see, me and you didn't get it. That's the plan. No, <laughs> still don't get it. <laughs> oh. Rice had to do a lot there. Wasn't helped massively by, I think, Jesus who gave him the ball. It's a big game for Jesus today, by the way. He's not scored in ages. It's a big game for every single one of them out there. Mm-hmm. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, agreed. But for some, it's even bigger. He needs a goal badly, don't you think, Jesus? So does second Havertz. Yeah. I think Jesus got something like four goals the whole season. It's really not good enough for a striker. Oh, nice, Odegaard. Thank you for being. Go wide. Such a nice. bloody talent. It's good football. Get the really cross nice in. Football, Get the cross in. <sighs> nice. Not bad ball. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Unlucky sapper. Do you know what? Good. That was actually good football. Like. Yeah, it was. We're definitely. Have, Erdogan really started all that with. Really good, close control. I need to lean forward for a sec, please. 
Ten minutes gone and we're on top. I'm getting, too, I'm getting too sleepy lying back. You know, like I was say, it was, I feel like it was quite chill. Too comfortable. Um, I don't think Wolves have uh, even been in our half yet, have they? No, no, we've had control of proceedings. All right, the nice one, them though. Another and a half. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, just jinx that one. It was dirty. Doherty went full circle back to them, innit? Mm. Yeah, he did. Went to Tottenham as an Arsenal fan, didn't he? Yeah, they played on it in the advert. Yeah, did yeah. nothing for them. And he went Atletico. Yeah, they were Atletico. Yeah, six months, innit? Mm -hmm. Did they win the league that year? No. I don't think they did. I don't think so. No, they're Trippier right back. Yeah, when they won the league, yeah. I always forget Trippier was Atletico. That was actually a very savvy move on his part. Yeah, we were a bit, going yeah. to Spain, play under Simeone. Because remember, people forget that when Trippier left to go there, his reputation was in the mud. Like a lot of people, it wasn't great, yeah. You know, a lot of Tottenham fans are like, "Thank God we got rid of him." He yeah, ends up doing brilliantly with Simeone. Ends up in Newcastle doing very well. He's a good, he's made a good career for himself. Yeah, for sure. He'll be at the Euros as well. Even after a poor season, Southgate likes him. Yeah. Ten minutes gone already. Yeah. Flying by when you need a goal. Oh, nice. lovely by Saliba. That's good. Nice. Well, that's good. Keep it going. Foul. How the hell? Yeah, but to be honest, he just like the older guard. Just we was the older guard. Yeah. Yeah, he spun into him like. <laughs> uh, did you see it or was it me? He actually spun into him. I thought he was a bit uh, hard done by it. I thought that was a foul. Balls on the ball. That's it. Yeah, just stay focused for the last two minutes. If I'm on the ball. There's space to work on though. We can nick mm -hmm. the ball like each. There is. It, but it's the pace again. We don't really have the. Uh, we don't have dev devastating pace. No. Just had to hide a little yawn there. I didn't get much sleep. <laughs> Come on, Arsenal. Wake me up. Here's Doherty. It's really dropped into a shape, haven't we? Yeah, like that. Odegaard is really pushing up, like up in the front. Yeah. Because the other three just keep changing it about. Mm hmm. That's what makes it more fluid when everyone just subconsciously knows where to go, the spaces to occupy. That's good football for all. Six man pressing. Yep. Wolves are doing alright now. Yeah, they're playing good football. Keeping it well. Frustrating us. Probably setting us down a little bit because we, we did get in. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. Is that Kivio? Hey, yeah, was that? Really look good. at that, look at that. Oh, oh, come on. You know what he did wrong there? He didn't really look up properly. No, he, he didn't, put man. It in that's the thing, you can't rush it. He was there that, as well, the pass. Yeah, he had a bit pass. more time. Dare I say, I didn't see Jesus busting a gut to the front post. To but I thought, I thought he yeah. held his position for the ball in. Oh, uh, maybe. maybe. Right, right foot, I take the touch out, and then yeah. that, that was probably in his mind. But yeah. the pass was there. I think he had a bit more time than he gave himself credit for. Tackle one-on-one, -on -one, the fullback. Reset. Mm -hmm. Where's White? I don't know. Oh, there he is. That's nice. good. That's Cut right through them. That's lovely. <laughs> on that pass. Did you see Saw, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> the... Yeah, Saka. Oh, nice. that's good. Oh, there's a chance oh, to that back post there. There's Trossard. One on with Dotty. Two! Oh, shoot! Oh, ah, okay. weak really effort, man. Effort, but approach play was decent. I was like, we know he, he can do better than Trussard that. Trossard was at the back post, though, ready for that cross from Saka as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think he had to whip that into the box. Yeah, he has another left. Lacked a bit of conviction, that, didn't it? Yeah. Approach play is good from Arsenal. I don't think they're looking like they're out of ideas or anything. Just need one of those moments of magic to come through. I'll say it's been 15 minutes now, no goals. It is a little bit like, come on. Yeah, 15 minutes. Maybe that's Because I think we're, we're all just calm here, just like, yeah, we're going to do no it. Great, you need to no do it. No great chance or shot is probably yeah. more worrying. Mm. Um, but, but I'm with you, though. You're I mean, not worried already, right? No, we're not worried like that, but I mean, like, you know, there no, is space we're to work and to be like going to good positions. Like, let's, let's let some off now. We need to... That's a good ball. That is a good ball. Oh. That's nice. a good bit of play. Do it, do it. Oh. Mm. Well, is that a deflection, yeah? Must be. No? That, please say that. Wait. That can't have been a shot. That was a shot. Can't That's be. That's a great ball here. Who can't was that who played that ball? That was a nice Shots header, up. nice header. Oh, oh he, he actually just, <laughs> okay. Shocker from Erdogan. Oh, no, no. I, I get it hit and then, yeah, yeah okay. Okay, I get that. Yeah. Made sense. Trossard, I think, looked up brightest player. Oh, come player. on. Um, yeah. Just in terms of being quite direct with his passing. Getting us up the pitch, switching the I think Jesus off. has been bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In terms of wanting the ball. I will say even just then, like, pressing the keeper. Got that desire. Yeah, that little moment, Havertz header, Jesus header. That was nice. Oh, come on, Odegaard. You could have closed that. Five shots on goal already. God, you wouldn't think it. Havertz. No. Saka, that tame one from Saka. Wasn't it? Was oh, tame Jesus. One? Tame one. Rice. Right. Jesus oh, dragged yeah. it. Oh, yeah. And the Rice one. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, what are you talking about? On target ones? Just any of them. Just any oh. of the shots. Well, we've had five shots, three on target. But, like you said, a couple of them have been quite tame. But at least we're shooting. That's one mm -hmm. thing. I've been critical in the past, so we don't shoot enough. So I'll Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, could he have done Lucky. better? Could he have reacted a bit quicker to that? Or am I might be in. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think he did. I was a bit <laughs> ahead of him, to be fair. Good block by Havertz. So. Nearly a gift. See, they forced the keeper to kick long because their pressing's been good. Oh, he got in behind Kivio there. Fine. Good defending by Saliba. Kivio got caught out there, didn't he? Yeah, you can't be letting that. I remember Kivio, and to be fair, it's only been one game I noticed it, but I remember the 2 2 draw. Kivio lost every header. And I was watching him, like the one with Fulham, and I was like, oh my word, this is a centre up playing left back. The one thing you should do well is deal headers. with the diagonals. And I don't know if that's a weakness in his game or just had an off day. But, um, and he's got the height as well, so that is a little he's bit also. weird. He's got the height, yeah. Kivio. Yeah, he's 6'2. Do. 18 gone. That was the first bit of threat Wolves pose, really. You see the composure there by Saliba when we approach uh, this class player. Man. Oh, and again. Nice. Well played, Jesus. Oh, I'll say, Jesus is making pass. options. Should've all the way at the back. The, this is the thing about Jesus. He's such a good technical footballer. Like he'll he'll go and support in all those areas, and it's like he that's fantastic. In, yeah. Can you can you put that big chance <laughs> in the back of the net, please? Yeah. That's go on, go on, Rice. Declan. That's go really on. Very good from Declan Rice. Great bit of play by Declan Rice. Out there. to Saka. A man say he don't progress the ball. Like. I know. What are they watching? Oh, that's good. That's not a bad. Go on, Trossard. Go on, Kivio. He's about to Trossard, I think he forced that a little oh, bit. Oh, great nice, play by nice, Trossard. Nice. Oh, nice. Come on, shoot! No one needs to shoot, man. Trossard on back to right. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. That's the second time, come on. That's a great bit of approach play by Arsenal. Yeah. Just to be fair, he did create most of that as well. Better football, for sure. 
the Trossard there, great ball. Ooh, no, unlucky. Not bad, not bad, not great. I think a goal is coming, you know. I hope I haven't spoken too soon. <laughs> but the approach play's been good, don't you think? If we, um, mm. if we get to half-time nil-nil, though, I'll be very concerned about <laughs> what we look like in that second half. Because the last couple have been... <laughs> Dying. Don't, you've just put yeah. that out there now. <laughs> just they put, put that out there. They put that out there. No? Yeah, I was like, that everyone's been saying that. Yeah. I'm quite encouraged by what I'm seeing so far. We were encouraged in the first half against Villa. The <laughs> <laughs> first Bayern. half against Bayern. <laughs> <laughs> I was. So. I'm not going to lie. But you would have been, though, wouldn't you? Especially the Villa game. We played, we played very well in that first yeah, yeah. half against Villa. It was the second half that was a nightmare. I mean, Wolves haven't had a shot on goal or on target, anything, have they, so far? Well played, City, bro. Let's see. When's City's next game? Wednesday? Uh, Thursday. <coughs> OK. So we play Tuesday night away yeah. at, sorry, at home to Chelsea. Liverpool play away to Everton. And City play away to Brighton. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. So a good mid midweek set of title race games. Oh, well played. And then that weekend is what? North London Derby? Yeah. It's next Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's come around quick. We need Man City to drop points against Brighton, man, I'll be honest. Yeah. That's the, yeah. That's the ideal scenario. Where is that Brighton game? At Brighton yeah, or at yeah. City? Yeah, Brighton. They were saying the panel is flat. It's like you've accepted your fate. I'm going to be honest, I've, I've had to like hold back three yawns. That's my fault for, you know, I don't think having a fun Friday night. Probably. But I, I don't, Arsenal aren't doing a lot. I don't think we're playing badly, but we're not doing a lot. Let's be honest. It's no, not that's what I was saying. I feel like we've already won. Like in our head, we're like, yeah, we need these points that like we've already got. That's why we're calm about it. Well, nah, yeah. But until you see the goals, it's like... Yeah, um, that's not really me though. I'm just, I'm just watching the game. And just chill. Nothing's, <laughs> nothing's happening. Some decent approach play, some okay football. Yeah, it's not exciting, is it? No. Not worried, but not, not, not it exciting. It doesn't need to be exciting, we just need to be controlling the game, which we are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when a game is exciting, it means because it's too open. This, this game, we're largely controlling it, we just need to be clinical when we do get our chances. That being said, we said that before, so. Out. And then when, when Wolves do get a spell in possession, we're not going full throttle to try press them, which, look, I can understand mm -hmm. to a degree. Um, but it just means that when they get the ball, there's sort of a sense of, oh, all right, let's wait till it eventually comes back to us. Yeah. But and I think that's because we've got football. a shape like, to us. Wolves are holding on to it. Mm -hmm. Holding on to it really well. I wouldn't say they look threatening, though. Good football. Oh, that was a touch. Ooh, slight deflection. Decent football from Wolves. With a sh so yeah, deflected shot from Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Goes straight to Raya. It was a nice play. Yeah. That deflection can go anywhere. What's going on? This is the, the game is flat. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> There's not really much to comment on. Right. No, it's not really. Hey, caffeine. It's not clicking. I'll be back in two minutes. It's you don't think I'm joking? I'm being serious. It's not clicking. I know you've given up already. See, Wolves had the ball again. Mhm. Mm so they're coming, kind of growing into the game a little bit. But it isn't scary, like you guys said. It's not really. Not yet, but it's like, it doesn't have to be, it's just one take. One take bang and you're, and you're behind mm. or... I would say like when they just slip the ball through then. Yeah. If that happens again, then obviously... They've got a bit of agility in their attack. And you saw that with that little one-two... Yeah, like tick attack. One-two-one one with whoever that other guy is with Huang. 
We don't seem to have that right now. In our attack anyway. Oh! Kibior Kibior again. Man, just poor. We're lucky there. Desperate times call for desperate measures, people. A Coca-Cola. Just miss Kivior. Just <laughs> Sponsored? Totally switch off and give the ball away. Coming up to 25, gone. That's actually going kind of quick, though. It is. But it's just passing. It's not... Just on the floor passes. Come on, Arsenal! Oh, that's, oh, that's great there. ball. Nice. Oh, I would have done that sooner. Oh, just shoot just now! Shoot! shoot. shoot. Oh, for fuck's sake. How many people do we have in there? Can we just... Saka needs to do much better there, man. Yeah, that wasn't good enough. Much better. See how many times Trossard is in that central space, look in there with Jesus hat wide. I do like how interchangeable it is. It's quite unpredictable, obviously, for the opposition. Yeah. As long as it's it not is. unpredictable for us and we know where Go the on. players are. That's Go on. good. Yes! Oh, he's fluffed his lines. Trossard. That's slightly behind him. Was it? I don't know. I think it'd be Should have done better with that. I'm honest, man. At least, at least we're, we're threatening. <laughs> Josh saying James screamed into a pillow when he walked off screen. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Just going to go get a drink. Just like crying. <laughs> oh, where are the bloody pillows? Come on, Arsenal. That's two really good chances we've had there. Oh, stop it. You know he came off you. Shut up. Isaka. Does it seem like everyone's in each other's space just then? Like, I feel like because there's... Maybe a little bit. I feel like I'm going back on my word straight away that I'm like, yeah, it's really good being interchangeable, but now I feel like they're all just trying to overlap, but then... That's Great ball. Really nice Cross ball. it. That's quite well defended to me. <sighs> yeah, it was. That was a good run from Saka. Are they, they going to replay the, the, the chance or are they not even... The thing is, I don't think the ball's gone out of play since. Well, like, it's, and then it's has come it? back in quickly. No, it hasn't, you're right. There's been no real break and play. I think suits us, but... Come on, we've been in a few times now. What this team needs, yeah? It needs a moment of magic. What I mean by that is, Saka just got the ball. This is not me having a go at Saka before you get onto me. <laughs> Saka just got the ball. Actually, let's watch this chance here. That's lovely from White and Saka. Cuts it. Yeah. Obviously, the other Trossard chance. So, there was a part since Saka there who was quite central, and he just gave it straight back to the guy. Now, fine, didn't do anything wrong. But is there a we'll moment in which, you, yeah, you take yeah, it on yeah. the turn and hit one? You know, you just, you just open up the game. Something Thomas Partey does really well, not in terms mm -hmm. of getting shots off, but in terms of you, you don't know how to play through, and then suddenly, like a turn, a drop of the shoulder, and the pitch opens up. Arsenal need those because every time we are getting chances in this game, it's through really good football. We're having to, like, be really coached into getting into certain positions, mm -hmm. but, like, can, can an individual moment of magic? Like, where, where's Jesus dropping the shoulder, beating a couple players? Where's that? Where's a, a Trossard strike from distance? Uh, but I think that's partly what's changed tactically this year. Oh. We're a lot more rigid. Yeah, true. Father, that is a yellow for Trossard. What's he doing? It's yeah, a bit so harsh yeah. booking him for that, though, isn't it? No, I don't think it is. He was, he was kind of... What did he do? What did he do? It does seem a little bit harsh, but I mean, he pulled him. him slightly. We're a bit too rigid, man. Yeah. This is my problem with the system sometimes. If it brings success, great. Yeah. If it doesn't, it can get frustrating. Balls on the ball. Poor ball in now. 
Oh, come on, man. Why are Second we ball, no one's dropping. Third ball or anything? Oh, oh. And even that ball was poor, man. Yeah, because actually, you get there that was a right chance there. Is in, yeah. Not that oh, we saw that one last week, but. Gabriel wins the header. Oh, Kivy oh. again. Oh, my gosh. It's not, it's not happening for him, is it? Jeez, oh get that man oh, off, man. He went one up. They hit the post. Somehow came out to one of their players and white cleared. Was that right onto the post? Uh, or was it straight off it? I'm not oh, sure. Oh, look. Right. Guard. That's good. Oh, well put. That was well defended by Wolves, I think. Keep you on, man. That's about two, three times now. Struggling, man. He's very much so. So much so that I'd think about making a change at half time. Look, look at this. The thing is, Inchenko will struggle as well. <laughs> this but, is you know, like but, you, but that is particularly poor. You know why? Because if you the ball comes up to you like that, you well saved by Raya, by the way. It actually was a good save. That he should be putting that, that ball out, yeah? Don't you think? Put the ball out. Well, just deal with it. You're good enough to deal with it in some way. That's poor. Oh, God, we are not taking control here, are we? I'm saying we had it in the first, like, 15, and then it's dropped off. Oh, man. Look, it's been 30 minutes, guys. Let's be honest. This has been such a boring half. Mm -hmm. Is it just me? No. Is it because I'm hungover? I'm, like, trying to think of, what, oh, what can we say about this? But there's nothing to really say about any of it. We've, we've played some good football in moments. We've largely kept walls pinned in. Best chance of the match fell to them, though. Yeah. I think you've got to give Raya a lot of credit for that save. Cause yeah, no, we gold, do, because we can't say he doesn't bear us out. But the defending that really. led up to that by Kivio was awful. And he's not had a good half. That's, That's a, a lovely ball. ball. That's a great good ball. Sack always finds himself in those kind of... Areas where what? White will just pick out a ball over the top. Ref, are you literally fucking hugging mad? Him? Ref, ref, when are you going to blow? But Surely that's a booking. Oh yeah, it's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wait. Fuck it, I'll try. Like and if you remember, he was the one that done that. He cleaned out Saka in the first minute, see? Mm -hmm. Do you know what, though, yeah? I kind of want to see Saka angry. If someone's yeah, grabbed, like, yeah. look here, yeah. If that was Grealish. Like, so arm around like, him, look. Two, two arms, grabbing his arm. The whole He's way. Fun, like... The minute that, like, go up that... But he gets up and he doesn't you, like... You're, you're, you're so right about that. Yeah. You're like, fuck Not off. just that, he should be complaining to the ref, because if that was Grealish or one of those guys, he would have been like, moaning. And but, you know, just show no, them... No, but it's yeah. like, just... Doesn't that show his one, mindset? Play with a bit of anger. You don't want to show them you're rattled, yeah. Play with a bit of anger, yeah. But just be like, get the fuck like, off fret. me. Like, no, but we've, maybe all, we've that's all played football suckers. and... Yeah. We've all played football where someone's going at your heels and you just fucking, I don't know, give them a shove or whatever or just get in a... But then you know, you, but I guess I listen, it's not the right way himself. to deal with it. But we've got to use this. I guess he is right though, because he could end up getting. No, of course. Poor, what is this? Why is it not even getting past the first man? I often fear when Should they dummy that the first time, it's almost like you putting off your own players as well when you do it. Jesus, get in the box Give now. That's it, on. Oh, uh, touch is poor. That's uh, a great pass. It was. One, I would have thought his touch would Jesus, have been the best. Jesus, man, you, we expect more from you in that position. That's a great pass from Kivior, that. It is. So he's got moments like that, and I'm like, yeah, no, keep him on. And then, yeah. obviously, the moment we saw before, so it's... Solomon says, uh, Mate and Saka, as good as they are, the style of play is so rigid, which is why... Uh, we are not seeing those moments of magic too Guardiola-esque, which Henri told us. Um, how that was. Forty Sar says, I don't get it. We look less fluid and more predictable since we've got all our players back from injury. Hopefully, it'll get a goal soon. <laughs> That's a good point. Now says, Kivio needs to be subbed off for Tommy. is playing bad and is costing us defensively. Tommy, that's not on the bench, is he? We've had a whole conversation about how he's not on the bench. No, he's not. He's obviously talking about Kivio, isn't he? No, but he's saying um, that we should bring Tommy as well. Oh, Oh, keep this move well played by Havertz, yeah? Oh, oh he should have. Because he. Free ball. He's yeah, down. Some real pain there, Havertz. Sack up. Hey, that's so predictable, man, all and the, the thing time, is, man. Wolves will rightly play on. They should. They should look, I'm being consistent, yeah? They should play on. 
We didn't stop. I'm so we didn't, didn't stop. Yeah. Well done, Rice. You oh, don't? Rice is getting booked for that. Rice, uh, for God's sake, man. That was so stupid. But the, the players should know that the referee's only going to stop that for a head injury. And that wasn't a head injury, so... <coughs> Like you said, you keep playing. Rice did that out of desperation. What was that tackle, man? I thought that was emotion as well, because you could tell he was getting annoyed. Yeah. Kilman's been booked as well for the tackle on Havertz. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's a nasty one, man. Oh, that is a bad tackle. That, yeah, that's ankle. That's what's. I get why Ooh, the ref you know did what? advantage, but that's. No, I don't think it's a red, but it's definitely. You, you see that, that, but that, wait, that's see a stud. That is quite high. <coughs> so did Rice catch him badly as well, though? I want to see that Havertz one again. That Havertz one was higher than Curtis Jones's one. Yeah. That's for sure. But also, he finished with the scissor action, which... Be straight in. A lot of people think it's, you know, when you go with kind of two legs around the player, but when your leg comes around and brings them down as well, that's... They ain't oh, going to give know, it, because I don't think a meal was made of it, so what, they're going to try to get away with it. Yeah. Super Gez says, you guys got your change at left back. We can't break lines without Zinni or Partey or Jorginho. Fickle fans so quick to turn on their own players. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. It's a great save. Akil says, everyone's got to realise the season is done, guys. It's a great save. Because that was coming at him like a rocket. Don't know that VAR checking anything. Oh no, what? For the Havertz one? Mm. No, no, no. no way. Personally, I didn't think it was a red, but it was a bad foul. Arteta's not happy. That is one of those stupid rules they brought in, which is the whole, if you, if you get attention, you've got to be off, medical attention, you've got to be off for 30 seconds. Mm. No, but I, I can understand so why that you, rule was yeah. introduced, because of a lot of the players were taking People fake it. the uh, yeah. proverbial that is, word. That is true, that is true. But you get players who are genuinely fouled. Yeah, like and then that's the consequence, isn't it? The ones that are genuinely affected are. Yeah. Yeah. Can I do some freestyling or something? I'm just like, it's my stress. Provide some entertainment oh, in this game. Oh, that's poor. Oh, it was man. Switched off. But that's my, it is crazy with football how quick it can change. Like they've had. Yeah, at this level, you can't to, yeah. to make silly mistakes like that. Look, look, at, look what he does. Look. Are you two. mad, Saliba? No, why was he naked of space as well? Z to be Z fair to him, he comes out quick, narrows the angle and forces the shot very wide. But even so, that was poor from him. ZZ says Turkish is the goat. There you go, you're the goat. <laughs> well done. It's feel good. Say the goat or a goat? He said the goat. A <laughs> goat. You're the greatest of all time, apparently. <laughs> or he just, or just a goat. I mean, I, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> that's good. Well done. Nice. Ooh, hello. Nice. Go on, take it There's down. There's a bit of flair. Beautiful. Go on, look, do that running. So oh, no. oh, that was shit. Do you have that a runner was there? So shit. What was that? Like You have a left foot, Leo. No, but you had the guy making the run in, just inside him. Yeah, no, pass with your left. Actually, look at Jesus' well run. Look at Jesus' there, right there. That was terrible, man. That was. No, Jesus sure. makes a long bursting run. All he had to do <laughs> is to slip him in. Akil says, someone rationally explain why we have set up like this against a transition team. Go we on. Can't press with Rice Well alone. played. Oh, oh, fuck's sake, man. No guile on it. No guile. Just... No control, so poor. <sighs> what a half. What the hell are we going to talk hell. about half time, Lucy? I'm going to go grab a drink as well. <laughs> no, you should. I'll do it. Go have a break. I'll take. No, no, The no. comments. I you can actually, ask me, yeah, you're going to do a Q&A at half-time. Anything you want to ask. It doesn't have to be football related. Anything you want to ask. Because... No, come on. In the next five, there's going to be a couple of goals. Let's go. What do I talk about? Come on, man. The whole world knew you wanted to do that. Oh, 
No, no, he's so bored, he's watching game shows. He's <laughs> 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 probably who wants to be a millionaire. <laughs> oh. See, look, they're dominating the last 15 now. Yeah. Stat-wise, anyways. Which is why you have to score when you're on top, because this is what can happen. Mm-hmm. Never really been on top. <laughs> I was going to say it. No, yeah. In possession? <laughs> on top of, of what? Getting done by the wing backs here. Why is this game so flat? Like, what? Well, I can't even pinpoint why there's just. Well played, Trossard, well played. This defensive work is going to be important to us today, you know that. Especially the Kivio. Yeah, Trossard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Plastic fans, no passion at all, says Anthony. Yes! Goal kick! Come on! Great stuff. Joke. Are you all mocking me for celebrating a draw at the Etihad? This is way more boring than that game, I say. That's good. Ben White's been at it today. Nice. That's good from Jesus. I like it's nice. good from Jesus, okay? but one would argue, why is he having to come so deep to get the ball? Because he's one of the only cultured players we got. That can pull off a moment of magic. <sighs> nice from Erdegaard. To that. Too easy. I feel like crap from he's not, God. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> don't think he's been. Oh, 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 just went flying. <laughs> Bless his heart, he's working so hard. Oh, that's, that's not a foul. foul. That's not. Oh, ref. 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 That there you go. This guy loves to dive, dive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's literally just been on the floor. But Havis isn't really complaining, so maybe, maybe he did catch him. <laughs> Goes to ground very easy there. Look. Oh, <laughs> no. Come on. Dube says, we need to chill with the lads. I think the run we had back scoring five, six goals per match made us quite spoiled. We expect to always score at least three goals every half. We need to be real. We can win 2-0 and that's okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's all one for That's us. absolutely fine. Of course we can win Makes this. it more exciting when there's five goals, but... I, I think you need to true. create some chances, yeah. is all I'd say, you know, to have that confidence. We do need someone, like you said, just to turn out and just do something with it. Makes I feel happen. like Jesus is doing a lot of that in the middle, but we need that in the box. Yeah. yeah. Basically. It's all well and good on the halfway line. Yeah, but... Mm. It's good from Kiryu. Turkish, I hate yeah. to disappoint you, but someone said that I'm the GOAT, not you, so... It's alright, no worries. No, I, I, know no that worries. I know that might ruin your day. Um, but obviously I thought I should read it. Make it a ball in your hand again. Huh? Why you got the ball in your hand again? Because it's keeping me awake. Just <laughs> moving this around. I'm, I'm an irritable person. You know those people whose legs shake like this? I would say I'm, this I'm sofa. I'm one of these I'm people sorry. who's, you can't even see, but like, no, I'll use this leg. You know people whose leg just goes, Go on. just when they're anxious or anticipating something or. So you're anxious now? Whatever. About this? Well, yeah, because it's nil nil. We haven't done anything. Oh, no, nah, he's not the same. He is not the same. Gone. That's good. Cross it now. That's good. That's oh. oh. Ben White is our most creative player on this pitch right now. I would argue Jesus a little bit as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got that pass, man. Oh, well played, Jesus. Actually, brilliant from Jesus. Oh, God! Yes! 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 What? We fucking scored! Oh, I don't know how that went in, but... Sorry, can we... Watch yes! That? How did that... Nah, was that outside of the foot or something? Oh, well done, Trossard. Jesus. Oh, that nestled in. Great ball from Havertz. Who scored on Trossard? Trossard, Trossard scored. But it's a great yeah, work by Jesus. Jesus done nice. great. 
Jesus done great. Let that sum it, OK. <laughs> the way he took that down, got the defender away. What are they arguing about? They're saying it's foul like, by Jesus. No, Never. And all he did was just lean, just lean into him. Look at this. KDB who? Look at that. Beautiful. That's great. Nice. Look at Beautiful. that. And, and then he wins the ball again. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh. Finish. I thought he scoffed at us yeah, that way that. winning. That was nice. I don't know if he meant that, you know. No, because that's what I said. It hit that like beautiful. this part of... Do you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember his goal at Everton? The Goodison one. What? It, he, where he kind oh, of... Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. He, That's off his right foot as well, isn't it? That he was just beautiful. literally just... When, you know, the, finish, just, the finishes aren't the same, but that ability to... There's not a lot of room, and there's an area of the goal, and I'm going to quite unconventionally guide it across goal line. You know what that is, right? The ball come to him quite fortuitously in the end, and then he, he was on his right foot, and he just thought, Charles, let me just hit it. No, he, and it, it, and it was the right decision, yeah. Perfect. Football's so funny, yeah? A bit of a... Whether he meant it or not, I think he meant it. He but, meant it, but what I'm saying is, but, he, he just kind of... But isn't it funny, his, like, that's the ball. That is the shot that goes in the back of the net. And then all the ones against Villa didn't. No, but like, you, know what, you know what I find interesting about yeah, that ball, isn't it? That bit of work by yeah. Jay Seuss is what makes that happen. Yeah. yeah. At least we've got something to chat oh, about. That was a beautiful finish, man. Yeah. We needed that ball. We did need that ball. <laughs> Let's hope it would get some confidence from this. Wait, all right, on. nice, older guard. Go on, Jesus. Cut Go in on. and shoot. We're going to make it shoot. two now. We're going to make it two. Shoot. Oh, We're going to make it two. It opened up for you. Yeah. Come on, Jesus, man. It opened up for him, didn't did it? Did Saka yeah, go down? Man. Is I he still know. on the floor? I don't know. Because... I can never understand this reluctance oh, no. to shoot from these guys. Oh, wait, yeah, no, he is. Can somebody explain That's that him. to me? You've got top quality guys who are just seemingly. I, I saw this from City earlier in their game with Chelsea. Mm. They would go past the, the, the defender, space would open up. You think, right, go on, hit it. And then they check back mm -hmm. this, that. Yeah. No. This just takes Saka off, honestly. What's he up? What? I don't know, if he's. Yeah, if he's getting <sighs> injured and stuff. Saka as well, I'm going to be quite critical of him. Here's why, because Saka, he's had a decent half, nothing special, but I was watching Doku, right, um, in their game against Chelsea, when he came on. The difference, man. When Doku gets up, or his, his immediate thought is to go past the defender and make something happen. Far too often, Saka will get the ball, then he'll check back and look for a pass inside. But again, I can't get on Saka, because I think we've seen over three, four years that he does want to do that. He can do that. You look at Jocko, so if you can do it, why don't you try it more often? Because you get it wrong, you lose the ball, and more often than not, you will get it wrong and lose the ball. Like it's not easy to, you know, always take on your fullback. And I think he does try to do it when he can. The problem is, clubs plan for Saka. They plan to stop Saka. When you're planning to stop Doku, how do you do that? You don't know if he's going to play. Could be Greenwich. Could be Foden out there. Yeah, listen, I, I get what you're saying. Doku is better at it than Saka, but it's also a mindset thing, isn't it? He's but, but there's, try pers it. there's perspective with it being better. Doku maybe tries it more, but his end product's not as good as Saka's. Nowhere near. That's good. Nice. Well Saka. played, Saka. Nice. That pressing was from Go every on. single player. That was great pressing. Yeah, Trossard's definitely been our man of the match so far. In this Him and White for me. That looked like our ball. Did. For me, definitely Trossard. He'd scored the goal. He's helped mm -hmm. out Kivio and that with the defending. He's had some good moments. Yeah, for me, definitely Trossard. Azza, with a super chat, says, Saka isn't the same tenacious, invincible player he used to be. I don't know if it's the amount of knocks he's had or just him changing his style. It's, it's, it's everything. It's... The team evolving, the opposition, mm -hmm. getting used to Saka and, and figuring out plans to stop him. It's half time. It's a lot of things. It's playing yeah, too much okay. football. All right, look, we're one up half time, people. Um, listen, good. let's now listen, listen, <laughs> listen. You, don't the the goal made the half. The yeah, goal made the half. Like, I'm not going to hear no half complaining. Dead, we're but one the nil goal up. Made the mm -hmm. half. Well, I'm not complaining. We would have taken this before the game started. One nil up at half time. It's not been great. Listen, James, you're Don't right. Complain. It's not been like exhilarating stuff. <laughs> but listen, man, we're one nil up, and that's what we want. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind for this one to see it out one nil. Yeah, if it ends one nil, I actually wouldn't mind because mm -hmm. first thing we've got to do is just get, get back on track. The points, our goal points. difference is already get back on top. 
Worry about the rest after. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm but that you. was a poor half. No, that but the goal was special. Deserve, do you think the goal was boring. special? You don't think the moment of magic it? you said. Trossard yeah. is someone that can. Do we deserve to be a goal up? I think we do. E? On a balance of play, we've we've obviously yeah. been the better team yeah, that had the, the better, better chances. Team. But Raya yeah. makes the best save of the match. Oh yeah, you know, he, yeah. He, he he keeps out Gomez. He mm-hmm. tips it onto the post. That was similar to Ramsdale away at Villa last season when we were two two chasing a winner. Mm-hmm. Ramsdale puts it. You know, so those big saves keep you in games and maybe, maybe at the end, earn you three points where it could have been tricky. Imagine yeah. we were going in 1-0 down. Trossard could easily have not scored that and Gomez could easily have scored here. Yeah, yeah, we know and that. It could That's be different. Football, but we're saying that half was nowhere near good enough, but, you know, Yeah, I hear time, you. But if you look at the stats, away, well, we've had eight it. shots to their three, four on target to their two, and we've also shaded it in terms of possession, so... <laughs> My favourite super chat, Vanja. Get James a stress ball on me. This should cover it. Two dollars, thank you. <laughs> we will go. I'll tell production to go find a two dollar stress point. Let's get rid of this one and that. We don't need it. That better not hit the camera. I think we're good. Um, <laughs> Turkish, Laurie, come and join us. Ten minute break. Do you need a drink or anything? No, no I'm you're I'm all calm, good. I'm calm. Well, let's get your comments, super chats in. <coughs> and um, yeah, anything you want to discuss, questions, let us know. But look, let, let's talk about Lucy. That three that we kind of focused on, Havertz, mm-hmm. Jesus, Trossard, they're not playing in the positions that, you know, Sky Sports and the graphic them, yeah. tells us. They're playing, you know, they're constantly interchanging, they're constantly moving, they're constantly... Mm-hmm. And we've um, seen it work yeah. so well before. Like, it's something that I, I get excited about because I'm like, OK, this is cool, this is fluid. Um, it's really good to see, even like Jesus dropping right back to the midfield, you've seen Trussard almost at left back at certain points, which definitely, like we've mentioned, obviously just then um, in the first half about Kivio and he needs that support as well. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think it's, it seems to be working, but it just seems to be a bit dead with it. Trussard's been our man in the half, hasn't he? Like he's, yeah. it's the goal, and that's the easiest thing. Oh, we scored the great goal, so what? I need to be our best player. But he was the one really tracking back mm-hmm. loads to help Kivior as well. Yeah. Popping up in central areas. Um, I also thought he was our best like, passer in the final third. He was the one getting the ball in behind mm-hmm. at times to either Akai Havertz or Jesus run. He did really well to come inside and switch a great ball out to Bakar Saka. So yeah. Trossard's kind of been at the heart of a lot of, a lot of our yeah. better football. And then ultimately he gets the goal. I think as well Jesus um, is someone that... I, I feel like he's a player I haven't really rated too highly um, because we keep saying we need that out and out striker, someone who's going to be stuck there and like going to get the goals. Whereas I've never really seen that for him over the last season, um, especially because of injuries. Whereas now I feel like he's back. Like you're seeing a little bit of a little bit of him, like his style um, going around players, no matter where that is on the pitch. And I think if you, I know you quite like a heat map as well. Like if you saw, if you saw where he was on it, I feel like it's, it's dotted around. I'm sure I could find one. So. It's definitely... The thing is, I want to be able to show everyone. Um, of co- we'll, yeah, we'll cover, if I can find one. Um, Plug your just tactical thinking, analysis. Just yeah, there's, if there's a show we can use it. I don't know if there'll be a tactical insight on Monday because we've got Chelsea coming so soon. But um, look, let's go through some, su- some super chats. Brandon says, Am I the only one that noticed that Saka does not get double teamed, but he brings it on himself? Why does he wait for the second defender to come over, Ooh. just beat the first man and be done with it? Brandon, that's an interesting point. I've not heard I, of that one, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Saka, for sure, like, what makes the best dribblers is not whether they can do three step-overs mm-hmm. or, you know, I don't know the names of all the skills. But <laughs> it's not being able to pull off trickery to get around them. It's actually how quickly, when you get the ball, do you attack that full-back? Yeah. And I hate to say it because he's, he's a Spurs player, but Hugman Son at his best, he was that. He didn't, he didn't, you know, what's it called, flip flap and, you know, yeah. you know, uh, fucking, what's it called? Turn around all of them and everything, yeah. What's it called? Give us names of skills in the comments. Like, he didn't have to pull off insane trickery to get past yeah. players. He'd get the ball, but he was immediately sprinting at them. Saka might have lost that a little bit. Um, is it team style? Um, is it that he's sort of getting fouled a lot? Is I don't know, I think... Figured out? I don't know. I feel like that is going to still have a question mark because for him he's sort of just he's getting it and he's almost turning away from where he could go like you said he's not being as progressive and the reason this goal happened was because Jesus fought like look at like yeah. this touch we're seeing right now 
Jesus was right, okay, what can I do with I this? I can't believe they could. It's, it and then he gets back up. I've just seen Dorothy brings him down. <laughs> it's a penalty. No, but this, this is what I'm saying. Jesus says something's happened because normally he'd stay on the floor, whereas he got straight back up and then was able to get an assist out of that. Fair play to so, Jesus for yeah, battling whereas, it out. This is something but, I feel like I don't really see from him, whereas I'm like, okay, I like this. I like this vibe of like the tenacity, like he's still wanting to... I mean, the Wolves, right, so that's quite funny, yeah, because when I first saw it, I thought, I wonder if there's a foul there. But actually, it's, he does really well to use his body. Yeah. And then, you know, I think Isn't it's Isn't a foul to, against us? Like, hmm? a foil against Jesus? I think, I think if we don't score from that, Arsenal have ever had to ask for a penalty. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. Doherty's grabbed him to the floor. Uh, young Darak says, uh, Saka said in the GQ interview that he doesn't have a diet. It's obvious he'll fall off. And learn the hard way. Elite athletes um, have good conditioning. Bakaya Saka, right, is 22. Incredibly durable. So mm -hmm. Has been playing four years in the Premier League for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. His level, along with Arsenal's, has got higher and higher and higher. The level of competition got higher and higher and higher. The team's got better and better and better. He has always been available. He's got some crazy record number of Premier League games mm -hmm. or Premier League starts in a row. He is been doing it for England and at tournaments as well. He's already gone to a Euros and a World Cup at the mm -hmm. age of 22. Like, I don't think his diet is a problem. <laughs> like, I don't, no. I don't think the way he's looking after himself is a problem. I think he might be lacking in confidence at times. His decision making might not be the best at the moment. Maybe mm -hmm. tactically he's not being helped. And maybe the other teams are preparing better for him. But it's it nothing like to do with the way to, he's looking after himself. It feels himself. like we're trying to clutch onto something that's not really there. Like even the, ex I feel like it is an excuse, like agreeing with Turkish about being tired. Everyone's playing all these games, everyone's tired. Saka's tired because he's been playing so many games. And I think like that's something obviously that's down to Arteta, like that shouldn't really be happening, him doing as much as he is. But that's the same for quite a few of our players, I'm pretty sure. I sound a, um, I sound a broken record. Um, but you know, the, the, the lack of getting depth for Saka Mm -hmm. you know, it has cost us, I think, in a few seasons. But anyway, look. He, he's, Instead he's, of focusing on left backs and strikers, should focus on a. It would help. But you know, um, his running beyond uh, throughout that game was really good. Ben White kept finding that mm -hmm. ball over the top to Saka. Yeah. Um, I do think that got us in a few times. It wasn't just ball over the top, sometimes underlaps, overlaps, whatever. So I think mm -hmm. the right hand side is uh, going quite well. But look, loads of super chats and questions about Saka. Flame says Saka has to go. Disagree? Cry. He doesn't have to go. It's like yeah, your opinion. I this is no, but this is when opinion. you lose one game and suddenly it's like, right, we're blame. Sometimes it's not a blame one person or blame the manager. Like people saying Arteta out. I'm like, please relax. Like it's not, mm. it's not a make or break right now with this. Um, but one player actually in here, I feel like everyone's not really had too much to do. Like it's just been a bit dead. But one player was obviously Saliba with his decision making at the back when he literally passed it to them. Yeah. That's, I feel like that only like big, big critique that I there's, really there's a say. moment like, of I don't, lack of concentration. Yeah, Kibble's had a few moments. I mm -hmm. think Ben White's been great, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I hear you. I think. But then Saliba's done some really nice things in the game That's, as well. Well, the thing yeah. is, the partnership. Like we all agree, it's the best Premier League um, centre back duo. But when you're doing little things like that, that could cost you. And it is annoying if that did cost us because we had quite a bit of possession in that half. So. I like this from Naz. He says, uh, nice, we finally score. Who would have thought we finally score if we shoot first time or we <laughs> get the chance instead of taking too long? There's, there's been a few moments like that, weren't there? Very, Where, very true. You know, there were... <coughs> the opening felt like it was there for Erdogan, for Jesus, for Trossard. You're thinking, mm -hmm. you guys can hit this. Rice had a few efforts. That's one yeah. thing I do like about Rice. I know you said he's not the most clinical in the final no, third. Sure. or he He's not got as much of the technique as some of the other attacking players do. But when he sees the goal, he will shoot for it. Mm -hmm. And we saw with West Ham when we played them, um, he obviously scored that unreal goal because he just did it first time, bam, shoot, no matter the distance. And I think we need more of that confidence from the others. I like this. You can like super chats, which I didn't realise. This must be a Ooh. new feature. Um, five likes for Sezo says Trossard is an XG cheater, and I couldn't agree with you more. Essentially, Trossard's the kind of guy who will get that goal out of very little opportunity. And I know it sounds crazy mm -hmm. because he, you know, he missed the Villa chance last week, like you know, right yeah. in front of Martinez. But he is the one who can pull out that goal that you feel like. 
if he missed that chance, we're not really blaming him. We're going, mm -hmm. oh, fair play, got a shot at goal, difficult one, wasn't quite set up the way he wanted. But like at Goodison Park, like in this game, and, you know, big goals against Porto, against Bayern, he is a player who can pick out a big goal and a big moment when we mm -hmm. need it. And I'm thinking, yeah, nil-nil Goodison, he gets the goal. Nil-nil Porto in the game, of course, one-nil down, he gets the goal. Two-one down against Bayern when you equalise it, he gets the goal. And here again, he, he pops up with big goals, Trossard. And I do remember looking player. at stats when, um, before we played the City, um, before we played the City, before we played City, and I just remember, obviously, we had players like Saka that were mentioned a lot, but players that came off from the bench, mm -hmm. and he was literally, Trossard was the one highlighted because he is able to do something with so little. And that's literally what you said five minutes before he scored, pretty much. You said we need someone to actually create something, someone to use their body. But I do think that goal was pretty much down to Jesus. It just happened yeah. to be Trossard actually shot it. I'd get, um, I'd get Jesus on the right, get Saka rested uh, for a lot of that second half. Who would you put left? Martinelli, bring him yeah, on. Bring, bring yeah, bring Martinelli on, but I don't think he would do that. Uh, but let's see. Um, Abdullah says, if we really believe that City will drop points at least one more time, this is a massive eight days for us. Abdullah, I could not agree with you more. Like, the thing is, okay, I know I went to grab my caffeine fizzy drink and I know that I yawned a few times on the watch song and I know that we're all feeling a bit the way we're feeling because of the, the buy-in defeat, you know, the Villa defeat. Mm -hmm. But we're top of the league if we win this. Yeah. Like, the points aren't given to Man City, they have to earn them. Mm -hmm. we're not we're not saying win this and we win this game we stay in it win it and you know then we'll be two points up win and we're top like mm -hmm. and then Liverpool go to Fulham tomorrow like alright we can't slip up because Arsenal just pulled away again and yeah. City will go okay you know we had to work hard to get past Chelsea and we went 120 minutes from Madrid and now we're ready to kick a ball in the Premier League again and Arsenal are now four points ahead of us mm -hmm. so we need to make sure we claw that back and look, they, they might and they probably will, but we need to at least ask the question of them. And, you know, we need to maintain that energy. It's just difficult. I think, I think the fans have been very energised for a lot of this season. And the players, I think, of these recent results need to energise us a little yeah. bit again. Um, but let's see. On the road, this has been a absolutely OK away performance. It's not yeah. been... I think OK, that yeah. pretty much sums it up. They've had one chance, Wolves. We've mm -hmm. not had many, but we've got the goal. But we're probably good value for the goal when you think of some of the openings and moments we've mm -hmm. had. I'm not particularly impressed, but I don't care. I just want the win. Um, the thing is, I want the points, obviously, but I think I want a performance as well that we can take into next season because I know, obviously, the focus is on who's going to lift the trophy, who's winning it. Yeah. But I think no matter what, we need to obviously get the three points from every game um, until the end of the season, but also prepare for next season as well i know i'm excited about like having timber back in the squads because we didn't really get to see him properly and i know what he can offer the team seeing his see previous timber. experience like he's the player i'm most excited about so i think if we can just set up a team ready to do that then it's an easier transition rather than trying mm. to look for loads of other players so uh dennis says why does arteta insist on playing habits in midfield listen because you saw today right how often did trossard drop in jesus go wide have it up front mm -hmm. i'm not I'm not um, justifying it, I'm just explaining it. That's why he's doing it. <laughs> On paper, it. he's in midfield, but when you actually watch it, he's not yeah. just stuck. Off the ball, he's in midfield. <laughs> but they're uh, getting ready for the second half now. Uh, Abdullah says, we can be four points clear after the North London derby, with City having to go to a tricky Forest and Spurs. The annoying thing is that I don't think the players realise that. Lee Jacobs says, honestly, Gabby should play on the right. With Kai in the middle, Saka is class, but he needs to rest. He's human, guys. No doubt the right wing will cost us. Totally agree. Totally agree. Darren says, um, pay to watch. <coughs> He's called me Tintin. Who's Pippi, Pippi Longstocking? I don't know. Anyway. All right, uh, Jorge says, we, we're kicking off. Jorge says, we need a player like Rodrigo to challenge Saka. I think Rodrigo at the moment plays for us. Black Hole says, apart from a striker, we've kicked off other. Apart from a striker, we don't need um, a good cover uh, as a cam. If, God forbid, Erdogan gets injured, also a proper wing and another midfielder minimum. We need a lot of players. We, 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 need, we need a striker, a winger, a central midfielder and a left back. Um, La Pope says, does Saka need back his old Zinchenko role? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, well, left back he means probably. 
<coughs> Nar says exactly we have to win to keep up with Man City. Also, our second half has to be better. Can't make the same mistakes like Villa and Bayern. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, all right, there we are. Take half kicked off. How was your break, guys? All good. <laughs> good. Can't complain. Fair enough. Big second half to go. Uh, more than you. Feels like a Monday night game, doesn't it? Doesn't feel like a. No. Doesn't feel like. I a know Saturday when you were like, night. yeah, Friday night, you went out. I was like, what? That was last night. Yeah. Second halves have been our nemesis in recent weeks. Let's hope we can put that right today. Yeah, we need to see something in this second half. Although in them other games, it, yeah, we didn't score in the first half. So at least we've got a bit of confidence going into this half. No changes then, no? Nope. No changes. What changes would you make? I would have taken Kivior off, to be honest, but um, hey. Okay. I'll get Saka off. What? Yeah. Saka? Yeah, guy needs a rest, man. He's exhausted. I think if we go 2 0, then you can make them changes, just have a bit more of a comfortable lead. I, I just think he's really struggling, and actually, all the joy Saka's had hasn't Come been on. cutting in on well, his Well, Jesus. <coughs> it's been driving around the outside. Well done, Jesus. He's had a good game, Jesus. Has. He wanted that ball in front. It's a lever. Look how high White is at the moment. If you look at White, used to be a centre back. Look who he's playing. <laughs> Someone needs to pass it out to him. Come on. Oh, oh lovely circle. ball to White. Go on. Lifted it Someone well into the box. Oh. Also Wait. Foul or White foul? was offside. Oh. Trossard looks hurt here. I don't even know what went into him. Looks really hurt here. What's happened to him? A bit worrying. Something to note as well, you know, you were saying the creativity White's that White side. brings. Sorry. So I was yeah. say, well, yeah, I was going to say about the creativity that White is bringing. That's a great cross. It's really good. Oh, wait, he went into... Who did he go Jesus. Into? Did he clatter into Jesus? I think he literally, yeah, went into Jesus, so I don't really know. Yeah, two knees coming together, or was it... I don't know. His shin. Knee on shin, whatever. Flight was offside, by the way. Sorry, onside, by the way. So... I'll no, say I that got that one wrong, sense. but didn't matter. That's why he let it play, I guess. Life Learner says, I think this season has gone as it should at least. The club is doing well. Trust the price. If we finish... Top four, it's progress. We are still the 49 unbeaten. That will not go away anytime soon. Mm. Um, that guy must be taking the piss. I, I, I thought I wouldn't, yeah. You went silent. <laughs> There's Averts. Oh, so no, left foot, go on. Unlucky. Go on, Jesus. I think he took too long. And Jesus is really setting himself up there, wasn't it? He's really, really winding that one up. Oh, but that's good. Is that Kai Havertz involved in the build-up? We there? made a good start to this second half. Made a good start to the first half. Well no. Nice. Oh, unlucky. Aimless. Who? It's Wolves. Had a good chance for them. Feels a bit more open, is it just me? Me was open there. Ooh. Foul on kill you. Mm -hmm. Yellow card. You'd think it would be a bit more Ooh. exciting if there's like four or five yellows. Foot off the ground, man. Look at this. He's lucky he doesn't make more contact. Even the reaction of him just... Yellow's right, but that him. was a bit of a... If, 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 if Kivio planted his leg, 
It would have been oh, a red and oh. or a big injury. He's coming off as well. He's been useless. All he's done is complain. <laughs> <laughs> Say how it is, Laura. <laughs> That's me. No, but has he? Am I wrong? No, he's just been on the floor. He's been crap. <laughs> he's not done a lot, I agree. <laughs> Although, to be fair to him, he's just coming back after a hiatus, so he's probably not match fit, really. Go on, take him on. They're packing out the midfield a little bit more now, Wolves. Yeah, they're going for it a little bit more. They need to. Mm. They need to. It gives us a chance, man. I'm trying to box us in. Nice. Well, Trossard. Trossard had nice. a really good game yeah. today. It's probably one of the best games I've seen. Go on. And Trossard, that is beautiful. It is. He's playing really well. Cross. Oh, yeah. oh, oh nice. he's still got it. Come on. Oh, unlucky. unlucky. You've unlucky. got okay. yourself a corner. corner. Well done. Please unlucky. adventure. Unlucky. Just got to release it earlier. Good move. Sometimes with Trossard, you feel like sometimes the game can pass him by a little bit. But today, he's been involved from the first second. Mm -hmm. He's had a really good game, scored the goal. I think that's because normally he comes on from the bench as well. So mm -hmm. he's true. I agree. Yeah, he's can. Not, yeah. Sometimes the game can come. You think, where is he? And then he pops up with a goal. But today, he's been on it. From Big corner, Saka. Did he have one in the first half? Can't remember. Can't Get, remember. It. Remember. Get it across. You probably did. Beat the first man, please. He goes to Jesus, short. Was he even shorter than the... Uh... Well, look. <laughs> shoot! I'm shocked Rice didn't oh shoot then. Oh my, that is a shit did attempt. He, why didn't Rice shoot there? Why did you He literally shot it? the other two times. Still on it though, Saka inside Odegaard. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Unlucky. I think, I'm not blaming Saka because he had every right to try and take control of that. <sighs> I think if he'd let it go, White was coming onto it. This is better from Arsenal. Yeah. It is mm -hmm. much better tempo to the second half. Nice. This style is nice. Right. Come on, nice. Fucking superb. I'm awake, people. Have it. I'm alive. <laughs> well, what, what are you oh. doing, to me, man? Seriously. <laughs> I was just about to say well played. And Literally. Then he lets it yeah, down. Okay, not quite. <laughs> nice, Gabriel, back in. Cross on. Foul, yes. ref. Go on, go on. Keep going. Oh. There's two fouls in there, referee. <laughs> we'll have it. Okay, let's L use this. Lee Slim says, uh, since change of tactics at City have not been the same. Uh, I disagree. I disagree. But, but that, you know. I think we, we need to show more of that. That's this a foul there, and that's a foul there. That's two. I don't know about you guys, I think Wolves are there for the taking, man, I don't know. Do you agree? Yeah, they are. They are. Just don't leave ourselves open. We've started this second half really well. Hopefully we can get a goal for our... Kind of taking time over the free kick as well and then they did what they did the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Declan Rice, top corner. I'm calling it now, people. He's about to put this in the top corner. Let's hope so. I'm absolutely convinced. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. That's good by Ben White. Havertz! Oh, no. Kai! That's the second time Havertz's Killer body's Kai, twisted it around. He's, he's so close to unlocking the RVP in him. <laughs> he's so close. <laughs> It's all Arsenal right now. Go on. Go on, shoot! Robin! <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're having a fucking Why laugh. Do, why do you take so long to shoot? This guy. Well, I heard him, man. I've entertained myself. <laughs> that was joke. almost blasphemy right there. You compared him to Robin Van Persie. Don't you see it? No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that one there is not too bad. The ball's coming over his head. 
but mate. the second one with the, the the shot was a bit tame, to say the least. <laughs> Do you know what? It's Saturday That's a foul night. throw by Kevin. We've had a good time. Go on. Go on, Go on. Why is he not? Uh-huh. Go on! Bang it! Shoot. Oh, yeah. It was one such of them a bad a shot. On. RVP nearly it was such it a bad place, shot though. that it almost could have been an assist for somebody almost else. Almost could have been an assist. Come on! <laughs> We're all over him. We are. We're actually playing really well. Mm-hmm. The look Turkish just, just gave James now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time now in a couple of weeks that we started the second half. I can say, wow. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is this has actually been a good start to the You need to score when you're second on top. Half. I'm gonna say wow, but it's better. <laughs> <laughs> well played Tross on. What's he giving? Foul from Shirewa. No, it's definitely been a better second half than the other two already. Definitely. Yep. So have they pushed Chirera up top yeah, then? Nothing. I think they haven't. Six shots already in the second half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, look nice. at that. Leo. Oh, that's Odegaard. Keep confusing. Oh, another foul. Book him. Cynical foul. Go on, Declan. Here's Saka. Well played, Saka. No, no it's, oh, that's a good tackle in the end. It, it was, was a good tackle, but do you think he could have got rid of that? He's offside. Well done. Yeah. Tabia, Tabia. French. He's well done. That should be very good. Are you speaking French though? Just Saturday night. You know, anything can happen. I actually think the alcohol in my system is like yeah, so dry. has like kicked back in. Yeah, that's definitely not just Coke. <laughs> this is good football. Oh, nice. that's great. Oh, oh too much. Heavy, unlucky. Nearly great. Unlucky. So I was a long ball. Great give you. Nice. Go on. Man. Go on, lovely, into Thierry. You actually need to relax. Let's <laughs> get to wind him up. Please. Go on, Chuck. That's lovely. No one's there. Go on. He's going to do something. What kind of run was that? <laughs> oh, bless. Go on. Oh, uh, lucky. So you went for the Sevilla. Yeah. Effort though, <laughs> and Kiv- Kivio was just take one to the face. Do you think he's giving it to the Arsenal? <coughs> he's given Arsenal free kick. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> 15 minutes are coming up to it's been all Arsenal. Oh, VAR, VAR. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, VAR. Smack. I think Wolves could easily have had a red card in this game. I'm not saying any of them are Stonewall Reds. No, but there's been the, a lot of yellows. I think the Kilman one, this, and the Huang one, they're more than yellows, but I can see Orange. why they've not... Huh? Orange. They are. They, they <laughs> are like... They're the kind of ones where I think if a red's given, I don't know if it's overturned. I think you can see Lamina's clearly... It's not the Harry Kane one, yeah. You can see Lamina's clearly looking for the ball, but that is a really high elbow. You've caught Kivio in the face. Like, or if they've done a foul just before, then you're like, right. The Kilman one, the more I think about it, I did just see it on the tunnel as well, I do think that was that could easily have been a red. But we didn't get it. It's weird though. There's meant to be that excitement, but it's not really shown. Ooh. Oh, blow Jesus. I like that we've come back on the front foot. And we're not... Um, Oh, well nice. played. You know what oh, look at that. Nice. That's great for you. Thank you for being an utter entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless his heart. 
Lovely. Look at that. Oh! oh. Got a kick right to the mouth. Okay, That's I'll MMA just... shit. <laughs> Conor McGregor would have been proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> Right to his mouth. Did he not even book him for that then? For a high kick? Fucking idiot. I don't think the ref was. The ref was behind it all. Yeah, but that's what the VAR people are supposed to be in his ear saying, look at that. That's. I'm going to put this one in as well. Our set pieces have really dried up recently. I was about to say the same thing. Just right. Coincided with the dip. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Well, Saka beat four men. Oh, that was so under hit, wasn't it? Go to guard. Awful. Mm. <laughs> so poor. Not, not the shot, the build up, everything. Yeah. Everything in that was just crap. The pass out, <coughs> under hit pass back to him. So they have to go back and back again. So difficult to please, aren't you? No, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with you, man. I thought that was terrible. And Donny Iriola. That took his line up Gary Richards. I mean, what's his name's next job? He took his last one. <laughs> what's yeah. that? What? <laughs> yeah. He took his last job. Now you want to move job as well. Now. I do think Gary O'Neill, to be fair, did very well too. Yeah. I mean, when he got the Bournemouth job, not a lot of people kind of kind of knew of him in management, really. I, I don't think he was anyway, I'm just being yeah. totally ignorant. But then um, he did well with Bournemouth, kept them up, had a good first season, ends up landing the Wolves job. Like, he's mm. done all right. But he's been linked with Liverpool, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah Gary Is O'Neill. He? I think he's a good manager. Yeah. Moans a lot. You know, he moans a lot. He's very, um, he's quite refreshing in that, like, he just, he, he talks how I imagine any of us would talk in a press conference. Just, he doesn't seem to do the whole media train thing. He just says <laughs> it. You can say that again, yeah. But at the same time, I don't always agree with everything he had to say. I mean, the last week, was it, he said, if you can't see that that's not a penalty, you don't know anything about football. That was a bit of a bold statement to me. So he said a few things like that. An issue but I do, I do think he's a good young manager. Definitely. Yeah, I think he's a good young manager as well. It's funny because I remember him playing for Portsmouth. I remember watching him a lot. Too. That was nice. Here we go. Got, got the overlap. Kivior. Got the overlap. That prime Roberto Carlos. Unlucky. Mm-hmm. Should have done that. Mind you, the overlap was Kivio. I don't think he trusted him. Oh, did he? He's kept on. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? The overlap was there. Yeah, I think I it's because it was Kivio. I thought now. Nah. There's definitely space in the second half, man. We just mm-hmm. need to. Start. If this was boxing, the referee would be giving outstanding counts now. Should should be freeing it up. (laughs) No, there's um, there's footage from the game of Smith Rowe eating. Like on the subs bench, that's all. That's Eating what? I don't know. It looks like a <laughs> sandwich or something. I don't know. Probably isn't, but uh, people just being funny about it on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's it. Unlucky. Yeah. The approach uh, plays been really unlucky, good. Yeah. A lot has come through Ben White as well. Yeah. So the old Thomas Tuchel. That's what he said. <laughs> mm-hmm. So everything comes down the right. Who is that? Oh, Vieira, Jorginho. Martinelli. Do you want to share with the class? <laughs> no. I'll show you after. <laughs> oh, Saturday night, I'm just in a dumb mood. Oh, oh, oh I did that. Is it me, but it's not been Odegaard's best game today, is it? No, uh, see, I was thinking that really. in the first 10 minutes. And I'm a big fan, but he's not really hit his straps today, so far, anyway. Do you think it is because everyone's all over the place, sort of moving in and out of position, or? Could be just having an indifferent oh. time. Nothing. Get out, man. Keep it moving, man. Good. <sighs> Here's Declan Rice, 
to Kai Havertz. Look how deep he is all of a sudden. Yeah. I must admit, if you're Saliba and um, Gabriel, the last couple of weeks you come up against Erling Haaland, Ollie Watkins, <laughs> or Harry Kane, and now you've got that 17-year-old you that's never played a game before at this level, you must be thinking, yeah, man. I'll take that. Well done. You've just written his goal onto <laughs> the team. Onto the no, but you know well what I'm done. saying now. Come well on. Saliba passes it to him this time. Am I wrong now? Listen, I don't care if you're wrong or wrong. <laughs> wrong but if he does score After who the they've come match, up against in recent weeks. He's got to be banned from the next watch-alongs. Yeah, I agree. Bro. If he comes and scores and we drop points, Laurie, you have to understand. <laughs> it's, that's a red card. No, but am I wrong in saying Red card. Am I wrong? You don't know anything about Ollie him? Watkins, Harry Kane. Yeah, like a 17-year-old can just... You know, pull something. You don't know him. You don't know what he's, he's, not he's good at. He, he might just pull something out of the he's bag. So Liverpool are bringing on the um, bringing on the academy players. I know what. Well, they were academy. What do you call them? You, um, what did yeah. you say when the Liverpool youngsters were coming on the FA Cup? Who uh, me? Yeah. Yeah. You went. Did I? What did yeah, I say? basically saying oh, the Utes. Kl- Klopp's decided he oh work experience. Yeah, that was yeah, it. That <laughs> yeah. yeah, that went well. Connor Bradley, top player. Jazzy with a super chat uh, says Laurie for Prime Minister hashtag Wenger out. Thank you for that contribution. Appreciate it. What was that? Um, don't know. He wants you to be Prime Minister. So. Uh, yeah, I like that bit. What the Wenger out though? What's that? Oh, yeah. uh, Eerie says Eerie three two three says if you oh. this game, make sure to remind Lee about Rye's save on Forever Arsenal. Yeah, absolutely. Will. What's going on there? Come on, Arsenal, put this game to bed, man. These guys are not on it. Everyone like Nori, one of the best players. We had a few people warming up as well. Mm-hmm. That's a good throw. Nice. That's a really good throw. Well done, Trossard. I should have let it go. Nice. He did nice, well nice to keep that move alive, though. Nice. Nice Havertz. <sighs> Lucky. Decent football. What are we thinking, Lucy? Changes? Um, well, we literally just saw like six players yeah. on the side. Um, I think maybe, yeah, bring Saka off. Not too much has happened. I feel like White's kind of covering the right anyways. So. Well done, Declan Rice. Shift them over like you said before. Have Martinelli on the left. Yeah. Martinelli's got to see some game time today. Yeah, I agree. That's for sure. I'd get Jorginho <coughs> and Martinelli on. I'd get... Saka and Havertz. What about Partey? Jorginho for who? You don't think Partey's... I mean, in a game like this, you don't think he's... Partey. Pick up some minutes? The guy wouldn't bring him on in the other games. The guy wouldn't start him in this one. I, I, there's got to be something we don't know about Partey. There's just got to be. You know, is he just... He's warming up. Is he just... He's warming he, up. He's not I've looking fit in training. He's not... I don't know. He's not, I've just I seen him on, on the touchline warming up with Martin and I mean, that impression is... I don't know. Unlucky. I just think if he were, if I haven't been that impressed by Partey when he's played, and I think if he were, I think if he were like bossing it in training, looking super fit, I think he'd have seen more game time. Nice. Because he's was an important player for us last season. We need another goal, man. Come on. That's actually a really good ball. 100%. If Jesus can. Mm, too soft. Mm. See, now that 20 minutes we dominated the second half, we're now tailing off. And, and now we did the exact same thing in the first half of this game. Wolves, yeah, that's actually true to be fair. It's literally the same. <laughs> same pattern. Same vibe. But so Wolves hopefully there's a second goal in like 10 minutes. Dress says this time of the year we realise City are about to win the league again. And we debate we don't have a good bench. 25 goals centre forward. When's it going to change? I wonder. Shreth, you need to relax though, yeah? Because you sent that super chat in about two minutes ago. We'll get there. Here's Lamina. Oh, Gabrielle. Well done, Ryan. Thank you for catching it. <laughs> Hasn't been tested too much. Yeah, that wasn't really a test either, man. Very ambitious effort. 
Nice. Nice. Oh, who's that, Ben? Mm. Why is it offside? Didn't even see the build up to that because it just mm. cut through. Oh, Saka cutting in. Yeah, he's off. Is Arteta going to do anything? 17 minutes of football played. Will he make any changes? Trossard is off. Again. So who's what? it, Martinelli? I don't know. What? Why? Oh, this makes no sense. Thank you, Trossard. That's a beautiful goal. I think he's been our best player. For Martinelli. Look, Why I like Martinelli Arteta coming on, but... On? There's some... There's something there. He will not suck. Like there's something Havertz behind the yeah. He will not do it. No He's matter what. He's got his favourites and it's really annoying. Why have you got to include Saka in that? Because you said Havertz. I think you're trying to balance it off of it. There. He, well, he, no, because we looked up the numbers the other day. Trossard, Jesus, Trossard, Jesus and Martinelli get subbed off around 75% of the amount... Of, 75% of the time they start, they're subbed off. Saka and Havertz are near 42 and 50%. So it's still half of the games. But mm. so often, no matter how they're playing, they stay on the pitch. Yeah, walls are starting to kind of creep yeah. back into it, man. Literally, we had them penned in for that 15 minutes. Yeah. We, we had them completely where we wanted them. Now we're really having to create, just defend uh, this. Then we have to defend for our lives a little bit here, or hopefully do what we did at Brighton, which is, you know, pull something on the counter attack. But whenever it's one nil like this, you're always a little bit nervous. But uh, mm. I mean, we've had 17 shots on goal to the three. But um, I feel, I feel like we've had 17 shots, to be honest. How many on target? I think it's eight. Even that? How, Sorry, keeper, it's five. Five. Has the keeper made a don't know. mad save? Mm. Can't remember one. But regardless of stats, whenever it's one nil, you just can never be comfortable or anything. So all it mm. takes is one mistake. Yeah, we'll flick on there from Havertz, but. Yeah, Wolves are playing, people. They are. And we're backing off. Yep. We're backing off. I've been backing off for a few minutes now. become the kind of game we don't want it to be you know dropping into a 4-4-2 trying to defend now <coughs> keeping them at bay he's driving to the box now door here he is that's really good from door to be fair and they've mm. won a corner walls jazzy asks who would you replace arteta with hypothetically well, i don't i don't know i don't know Jurgen Klopp, one. he's available in the summer isn't he? <laughs> There you go. You're not banned. You Seen got, him you got away with it, Laurie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, if you've been coming up against Haaland, Ollie Watkins, Harry Kane, and then you get this guy, they're not going to be losing any sleep. Can't get complacent, but yeah. No. It, make, it makes a lot of sense, what you're saying. Yeah. Wolves corner, Sarabia, good player, got a good delivery. <sighs> Did it oh, well to yeah, he hit straight it. to him. That was fucking ambitious as well. <laughs> 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 That's, That's like, super what? ambitious. Wild. 
I reckon he was just trying to get rid of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> he I was running away from goal 35 yards like out. You think I'm joking? Yeah. We've all been there. You yeah. try and make out like it's a shot. Yeah, I don't really, want it. Yeah, yeah I don't want it back. <laughs> We've all been there, bro. We need another goal, man. Kill yeah, them are looking a bit nervy as well. Yeah, they look. They do look nervous. I would be. Oh, what's that? We don't want players doing that nonsense. It's good. Well done, nice. Kiddo, that is good. Nice. Well done. Nice, guys. Go on. Wrong pass. James Lewis was in. We're Saka. This is good football. Back post. Havertz just yeah. didn't really get anything on it. That was going it. nowhere, man. That was yeah. Kivio did really well there, actually. Kept that alive. Well done, Declan. What's that? Oh, what is that? Oh, geez. Oh, Gabby. Go on, go out and help White. Yeah, this is what we need, man. Because it started getting a bit... No, what we need is another goal. Right now, we need to that's what get the need. ball back and keep it. God, just hitting the channels. Why are we doing this? We don't need to force that pass. Well done, Rice. Actually, that, that, these last 10 minutes, Rice has stepped up with some good drives with the ball. Mm -hmm. He has had a good game. Winning actually. the ball back a few times, yeah. He has had a good game. Oh, you did well to win the head of the one on rice. That's good. Got five Gs. Oh, shoot! He was always going to cut back. He was always going to cut back. The guy doesn't want to strike a football, does he? He like gave up though, and he just stared at the. But you know, side. sometimes yeah, you just hit it and you force a exactly, good save. Yeah. It trickles off. Like when it's rolled into you on your right foot, it sits so nicely for you. You've got to. You know, you know what it is about Jesus. I'm convinced he's got that street footballer's mentality. He's always got to try and beat a man, and you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. he's, that's his first instinct. Beat the keeper. That's what yeah. you see. Just shoot. Trust yourself. To me, the ball was running nicely here for him to just shoot. Instead, he tries to take the man. Now, come on, man. Try and be a bit clinical. Nice. No rush. Yeah, I agree with that. I know, look how he's picking up the ball. I thought he was a left wing back. Look at him. Oh. What well on Gabriel. <laughs> no, what, that is Using really, body, really, yeah. I thought he'd got round him. Yeah. I thought yeah. he did it. Habits, yeah, you're yeah. right. Have a go at him. Yeah, you're good. Fucking, yeah, tell him. Yeah, just good let on him you, just Gabriel. run past you. Yeah, well said, Gabriel. Yeah. Do your job, man. I wonder if the fan base will get on Gabriel for being critical about Kai Havert. <laughs> They'll be saying he's got an agenda. Now this, I actually think is the right change. It is right. I think Jesus obviously... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Still don't really know quite how... So what, is he going to push Havert top top then? I think he is. Yeah. He'll get Parte in there. Jeez. I so, reckon there was something in his contract, you know. Well, Havertz is. Yeah, he's, he's, got, he's got to play every game. <laughs> he, made, he made a big commitment. <laughs> Good Fabio Vieira, he's thinking, boy. <laughs> yeah. <my. laughs> if, if ever that's the look of... <laughs> he's got that look on his face as if to say, boy, yeah. man. Yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> what, what, watching your ex with a, with his, with a new man. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I feel sorry for him. He, In the background. The one he told you not to him. worry about as well. <laughs> he's thinking, what have I got to do to get some minutes? There was a similar uh, bit of footage of Cole Palmer celebrating his penalty with Madweki in the background, just sort of looking a bit gutted. <laughs> <laughs> Although I think that might have been a 1-0, to be fair, or 2-0, but... No, he wasn't happy. They had to push him towards him, innit? That was Jackson, I think. Oh, was that Jackson? Yeah. 
Isn't it funny as well today, both of them two laid proper eggs, Madawaki, especially Jackson, he was terrible to them. <laughs> so it just goes to show, you know, you're there fighting over a penalty at 4-0 up. Mm -hmm. You had opportunities to score today and you fluffed a lot of them. Karma. Ten to go. Mm -hmm. Ten to go. I'm still laughing at that picture of Vieira. <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor guy. I felt sorry for him. Oh, I did too. He just had that look in it. it just <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What did I do to upset her? <laughs> <laughs> he had that look of um, just sort of like you know, you know when you know when you want to wish someone luck, but you don't really. <laughs> you know, like. Should be me. Where, where's that Nino Santo gone? The manager? Yeah. The defending. Uh, he likes Portuguese players, man. He needs to buy He's at Forest, isn't he? Wherever. Oh, Nuno yeah. Spirito Santo. Well, Wolves used to be the home of Portuguese players, didn't it? Especially when Nuno was there. They had after, was it, about nine Portuguese players yeah, in the team. that's it. Vieira, Forest. Owen says, nine prior Champions League games we weren't away after first. We weren't away after first away this. Like Nori on the ball. Um, They've definitely looked better since he's come on, by the way. Is I, Nori having a little bit of a um, Gareth Bale style positional transition? Oh, unlucky there, Tom. That's good. He used to be a left back, left wing back. Now he's playing right wing. Who knows? They've definitely looked a bit more threatening since he come on. I know that. Where, where's he from, by the way? Who, I ignore him? Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, actually. Not 100% sure. He's a good player. Yeah, for sure. So what have we done so far? Partey and... Um, Martinelli. Yeah. Which I do think gives a better balance to our squad. You know, pay, play, pay see the side of a supposed target man. Partey, you've flushed your lines there, man. Oh. Well done, well, Erdegaard. Oh, come on, ref, man. You, you. Even, if it's not, even if it is a foul, yeah, I'd just yeah. appreciate the break-up of play, getting back to help. Moroccan, apparently. Moroccan. He looks nervous, as well he might do. Carlos Cuesta, give him the answers, my friend. I have a theory Carlos Cuesta will be our next manager. Well done, Ryan. Ryan. Well held. You know. Oh, come on. If you were that injured, you wouldn't be kicking the floor, bro. Trust me. Aston is asking if I can check the average times that players are subbed off. Uh, that, that data might be somewhere. I can have a little look. But. That's like a long time. Maybe one for tactical insight. Trying to pick up what Gary Neal was saying there to Doyle. I don't think he's faking it because his team need a goal. He probably has just landed quite badly. Ain't even replayed it or nothing that just Yeah, just showing us fans and stuff. <laughs> they look really happy. They look really nervous and I can understand that. Because a draw would be terrible. Neither of them, either. I was going to say not much time had it done, but... You know, not now. Now the lad... Six? Probably. Yeah, you're trying to replay a bit of nothing. No, it? they're just not, yeah, just showing us various managers, players, fans. <laughs> Black Cole says, we should have Partey, Erdegaard, Rice, Combo in midfield in remaining games. Can't afford to have Kai in midfield. That is the best, the best, you know, three for me when everyone's fully fit, but... Who's that? 
Rice, Partey, Odegaard. Felt it all season, we've never seen it. Oof. Oof. That was a knee to the back, though. Yeah, do you know what? That Watching it now... knee to the back, yeah. That was... He's lucky he claimed that ball cleanly. Not lucky, he did it, but... Yeah, that absolutely was a proper knee in the lower back. That, <clears throat> that's a nasty one. But, you know. Wait, did you just say Rice, Partey, Odegaard? Yeah. But then weren't you saying that you'd need someone who would be better than Rice or something like that in yeah. front of the box? So. 100%. Uh, I, I think you can't address <clears> that till <throat> summer, though. True. So you get, you get that three for now. But then you'd want Rice to then slot back in? Or are you saying Partey to slot yeah, back in? Yeah, Rice to then the <laughs> six. Thanks, David Rye. It's a good thing we signed him for his distribution. <laughs> yeah, I, was good, I was just about to say <laughs> He just went like this. <laughs> Supposedly he was signed for his excellent footwork. Owen says, our schedule, schedule was favourable this season. Such a missed opportunity. Out the Cups early. After every Champions League group game, we were at home. After Porto uh, was at home and a break. One away after midweek. Champions League Premier League helps us. You know, ultimately, over 38 games, you play everyone, right? So, I don't know. I don't know if the schedule has been kind or not kind. But I agree that the whole having home games after the Champions League was always a good thing. I do agree with that. We were quite lucky on that front. 87 minutes played. Arrive with a goal kick. I'd be amazed if there's less than five. I'd be amazed if there's less than five minutes. Well, we had a, about two or three minutes of the, that guy that was disinjured. Mario Jr. It's time to just see this out now. Mm-hmm. What's that? So he's called a high elbow on that, has he? Don't know. Yeah. I've got no idea. Yeah, yes. It was high. It was fair. actually. It was high elbow. Kivio, you, you have to deal with this. Oh, no, nice. That was really nice. That was really nice composure. Mm -hmm. As the game's gone on, I feel like there's definitely been more and actually the, to him. The referee meant we never saw how it materialised, but Partey actually, I think, did well there. I think he was going to come away with that quite nicely. Ah, uh, stress. Yeah, the right idea. Get the ball up the pitch. Fourth official's acting coach. He's on the touchline going. Look at the Gary O'Neill. He's doing, he's, doing, um, he's doing the tie. That's one of my favourite tie clips ever, you know. Oh, what the... Watch, watching a watch along, telling the players to move forward. And then when they do, he gives them the thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's world he's class. He's so cute, man. He's absolutely world class, Ty. I love him. Oh. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> it's <down to> <laughs> Utterly superb. <laughs> and that clip of him, um, I think it was the Lisbon game. When, um, Is that with the headphones? Or? No, I it's the one like where, so many of where them, he's, looking at the, he's looking at the um, security guy. Um, oh, is that that? And he turns, he's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a classic as well. That was this season. That was last, last season. Last season, yeah, yeah. My favourite one is the thumbs up when he's going past the coaches. <laughs> <laughs> Sky Sports camera. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's, like he's ready to play 90 minutes. <laughs> like he's minutes. just come off the coach on his way into the dressing room. He's ready for a 90 minute <laughs> battle at Old Trafford. All he was missing was the old Louis Vuitton little handbag. There. He should have signed the camera lens. <laughs> nah, he's an absolute legend, Ty. He really is. He is so cute. Utterly world class. Super fan. How much time you reckon added on Lucy then? What do you reckon? Only like five minutes, hopefully. I say only, but hopefully nothing really oh. changes in that because. Oh, six. Okay, six minutes. Six. Yeah, yeah. Close enough. Exactly what I predicted. This could be a long six minutes, man. Hopefully not. How about us get a goal in us? Go on. That's decent.
Is it me there, bro? Did you see Partey back off that? Don't you think you should have tried to have attacked that more? Can I? Um, I think you should have, but I love Gabriel, man. Do you see how he just he sprinted? Had to do what he had to do. Yeah, and even and then he lost it, but it's the sprint before just to get himself yeah, yeah. back in that position. Just such a that showing dog leadership. The term, yeah. out, the term, the term? Determination. There we go, bloody hell. Determination. <laughs> Determination to actually get there. Oh, that's good. Oh. Keep the ball down in their half, yeah. That's played. Played dead time. <laughs> Go on. Saying uh, the tone out, he just reminded me of a few of... Um, Go on, get yeah. the penalty. Oh. Same. Oh. Oh, Unlucky. gosh. Unlucky. Do you know what? He made that happen for himself. He did. He's done better with the finish. We want to see more of that, man. Yeah. yeah. He can take on players. We know this. I've been saying that from time. We've missed that for the whole 90. Look at that. Cut across him, inside, outside, right foot. Why not? Yeah. Um, sorry, it was reminding me of Saeed. What did he say the other day on his watch? He said, um, who's the space? <laughs> what did he say? Did you, is, I think you meant to say Cross where. It. I think he meant to say, where's there? the space? And he was shouting, who's oh, the yeah, space? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's the space? Even last night, was it last night? When was Big Six? Yeah, I think last night you guys did. No, it. Thursday. Oh, yeah, Thursday, yeah. He said, when the tough gets going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, to be fair, it is when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Yeah. But he just said that and not. Yeah. <laughs> you love him. I love him. And the context he made was of Harland and De Bruyne, was it, asking to come off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's an utter genius. Just, he, he's brilliant. No short corner, just get it in a box. Not a sucker. But that's a clever touch, you know. Oh, oh my God. Who was that? Declan. It's already the shot I was thinking. It's more, no, was that, that going to fall to someone? Bryce always pulls them out. Go on. Unlucky. I'm not sure about that one. But we've actually done well to wrestle some momentum yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seeing the game out nicely. <laughs> when Saeed said, um, this is what you call a game like this. <laughs> Bro. I, think that's, I think that's my favourite quote of the season. You did well, this defender. Eh? This is what you call a game like this. And he just went back to watching it. Wait, what? He just stopped? <laughs> he just yeah. said it. What do you mean? Said. That was He's it. watching Chelsea Man United, which was nuts. And they just went, this is what you call. They've given Dick and Rice man of the match. Full stop. Personally, I would have given it to Trossard, but hey. Go on, Martinelli, go on, kill him. Oh, that was actually a good save. Fucking yeah, hell, man. Greedy, what man. a save. Have it. But nah, Saka's, man. Saka's going nuts. I would say nuts. cut it back a bit. But to me, you should have Was there a cut back on there? I yeah, see. there was. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> William Saliba. <laughs> you are. Why are you crazy? A proper, <laughs> proper, brave, brave bastard. Mad, isn't it? On <sighs> he just went... I'm going to take my time with this, everyone. You're not rushing me into a pass. Just over two to go, the six. That's a lovely ball from Gabriel with his right foot. Go, ahead, give it to Partey, well done. See one thing Partey's done, I know they just gave Rice man of the match, we'll talk about that. Nice. See what, they, what Partey's been doing though since he's come on, he's always been an option, he's positionally so good. Come on. What are you man doing? Oh, oh yes. yes! Come on! Oh, <laughs> Martin Martin he's like waiting for to finish. Fucking genius. Finish. How? <sighs> well done. How did that even... And that seals the three points for Arsenal. Wolves nil, Arsenal Ended two. Ended on a high. And that's look, good, that's a deserved good, that's win. Another clean. Yeah, that's for every no more than we nice. I'm very happy. I'm very How happy. You, you know why? In, because me mm. and you, weren't it, predicted 2 nil as well, didn't we? Uh, I did actually. Did. I said three points on. Is it forever as well? Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I, could, I could not turn up a few times and get three three points knocked off me. Yeah, well, once upon a time, you could just throw away the points. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's a brilliant that was a finish. finish. That is fucking genius. Never in doubt, people. Thoroughly entertaining 90 minutes. Oh, Thrown <laughs> away. I'm We're right. back. Nah, look, we we we'll get good away performance. Oh, beautiful. That is genius. Well done. Come on! We're back. 
people. The clean cheese nice as well. We spoke about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's all over. Well done. This, I can't look. Title race is back on, mate. Well, no, no, it is. We, no, yeah, we, we, we lost 3 0 at home to Brighton last season. The fans left early. We then ended up going to a forest and losing. I think there was still. Was there another game to go? I can't remember. But the point is, we just handed it to City. We responded from that Villa game with a good 90 minutes here. Boring at spells in the first half. Hit and miss, not quite our fluid best, but defensively solid throughout. And do you know what? Came up with some big goals and showed mm -hmm. some quality. I think that 20 minutes from half time and into around minute 65 was the best football we've mm -hmm. played for a little while in terms of like really controlling a game or whatever. Maybe not as good as the Villa first half, but I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. Three points. A bit more awake now. Yeah. Oh, way more. Yeah, go on! Oh. Oh. Go on, why not? Why not? Go on, Martin. He's offside, but he's, no, he's, not, he's not. He's not. He's not. Oh, come on, Martin. I knew you were going to score that. I knew you. What was that? It's confidence. Keep levels, training, come there. on. All right, well done. Okay, it's done, it's done, it's done. That's good, that's good. All right. You're bored. Josh it's, says, it's uh, club, we haven't lost good. the league yet, boys. Let's fucking go. Look, we're top of the Say league. Say that, lad. <laughs> Say that, lad. No? What? <laughs> no, I thought I had an no, announcement to make where he's, he's, he's shy. No, what? I said he's not on form yet. <laughs> <laughs> Martinelli, that was, if he was, he would have scored that. Yeah, He's just probably. not at it at the moment. <laughs> I, I, I also said that I thought Eddie would. <laughs> That's what he said. I was going right? to say, you were like, he's got shot. I was <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, listen, man, the important thing is um, got the win, 2 0. Mm -hmm. No more than we deserved. I thought it could be more than that, to be honest. We were quite dominant. We deserved the win. Nice, look, nice mm -hmm. comfy. Clean Wolves had players missing, um, but we were in control. Didn't really trouble us. Uh, Raya, though, did at 0 0 keep it at 0 0 with a, a big save from Gomez. Um, Trossard mm -hmm. with a wonderful goal, really wonderful goal. Um, and yeah, like the players gave us 90 minutes of commitment. And I'm not saying they weren't committed in the other games, just in the other games, they felt like they ran out, I, I ran out of ideas. Yeah. This was good, though. Lucy, final thoughts? I feel like, obviously, not the most exciting game, but I do feel like, well, we've got the points now. We can keep the mindset of, right, get every point from the remaining games and just hope other teams mess up, basically. Yep, Turkish. Yeah, did what we had to do, man. We had to get back on track and apply pressure on City at the same time. So it was a big game for us, and we've come out, clean sheet, couple goals, goal difference even better now. So if those, if those points dropped from Man City, you know, are a, you know two, and we do win the rest of our games, then goal difference will be the decider. So, you know, as much as that is very hopeful, all we can do is, you know, one game at a time now, go make it four points against Chelsea next, and then let's hope and pray. Yep. We can't forget that away games ain't, you know, sometimes yeah. you, because of our form away the last two years, mm -hmm. you know, people think away should be as easy as home. It's not. You know, that's why I've got hope that Man City will drop points. But. Mm -hmm. We, we, we'll see. You're right, you just touch on our away form. If I just very, very, very quickly, of course the internet craps out on me now. Um, our last away games in the league, 2-0 Wolves, 3-0 at Brighton, 0-0 at Man City, 6-0 at Sheffield United, 5-0 at Burnley, 6-0 at West Ham, 2-1 at Forest. 30th of Jan was the last time in the league we conceded a goal um, away from home. Mm -hmm. So that is a phenomenal record. Um, Laurie. Yeah. What thoughts, my friend? My thoughts are, my immediate thoughts, as soon as that whistle went, is that the title race is back on. Um, we needed to win today. We got the win. Takes us above sea, if I'm right in thinking. Yeah, it does. And yeah. they don't play until next week. Now, we know we got Chelsea. But the good thing about this win is that if we hadn't won today, then that Chelsea game would almost mm -hmm. be redundant. Now, everything's back on all to play for. So, yeah, we're in a good space right now. Chelsea lost today as well. Yeah. So... It's yeah. been a good day. Joe Wright with the final super chat of the day says, White and Rice have been absolutely top notch. I thought mm -hmm. White was in that conversation for Man of the Match, along with um, Trossard. along with Trossard, yeah, for sure. And then Rice, I think that last mm -hmm. 15 did come to life for sure. Doob says, told you guys to chill. We're winning two. No, no, try there, on. see? You gunners. Oh, there's Ty. He's always yeah. got his head that lady. Good on him. Everyone, we'll be live on full time very, very soon. We will. Soon? Uh, get to have, <laughs> oh, yeah, you have yeah. your say. Download the AFCB Plus app. 
and you can have your say on a full time on a full time show via a fan zone. So yeah, come and join us as we dissect a win. We haven't been able to do that for two weeks, but we're back on track. Big win for Arsenal. Needed clean sheet, couple goals, getting back into the swing of things. And it's Chelsea on Tuesday. Fan comes out soon from here and the ground. Full time live very very soon. Catch you in a bit.